Bully and the Beast Podcast. This is Bully and the Beast Podcast. Yo, what's good? I'm L'Oreal. <laughs> Wax. I got my glasses on today because y'all motherfuckers get on my nerves. No, that's not what happened. Hate I was running late, so, you know, I couldn't put no makeup on, and my ass is pale, so I had to throw the Biggie Versace, Versace's yeah, on. Yeah, that's what's going that. on. Yeah, you know, too pale for today. Word. But, um, so, I definitely want us to get into voicemails, because yes. this has become, like, my favorite part. Like, you like this one? Black Excellence is your favorite yes. part, and that's... Definitely a great part of the show. Like but the, you know what I like about the voicemails? Talk to me. You don't cut off the talker, the the callers. Mm -hmm. You be cutting them off because you want to tell them. You too. Because <laughs> you want to tell. It was really the, la the last episode that you made me mad because I wanted to hear all the nitty gritty details what of when what? you were sending your motherfucking dick pic and sex yeah. tape. And you kept talking over her so I mean, we couldn't hear that's on purpose. Not true. No, you did it on no, purpose. No, I want everybody that you come on here. I don't care if you even got bad shit to say about me. I want you to get your point across. I want you to say everything that you need to say to get your point across because I'm a, I want you to come with facts, though. I think I want to make a rule. Let's make a rule. I think if a woman is calling to uh -huh. express something that has happened with you, yes. you got to shut the fuck up. How I don't long, think though? you should be able to talk. Not, not at talk. all. So with a guy coming and talking, he's saying about you. I'm a, it's different. Nigga, this What's has the been the difference. This has been the fifty fifth woman, and we only had Shut sixty up. callers. What's wrong with these girls? How did you have fifty five <laughs> bitches calling? We had sixty callers, and you want me to let you? It's not fair. They gotta get to tell their story. This oh, is a movement. This is amazing. Wax two movement. <laughs> I fucked wax too movement. That's what these bitches <laughs> is calling to say, and you won't it's, let them it's, talk. It's their fault though. They, you're not, you act like they're not saying that. Listen, I jumped in his DMs to fuck him. Erica, shut up. I don't know who this is. Wherever you are, Erica, stop. We don't even know who this person is please, and what she wants. Oh, please, Erica, DM me. I'm I mean, she, what, what did she even say? She said we had she an said agreement. She said y'all got a situation, a, a, yeah, a agreement. agreement. It's just funny to me because you wiggle in your chair. So I want to know what this agreement is. is he it, did he I, I don't. Know. I don't know if it's like me and her. I had. I got her pregnant and I told her to come back. I think back. this is what it is. You know what? It might be a baby. I told you. I know I got some other kids out there. There's no way I'm out here all these years as much as I've been traveling for years. On some nigga shit like, I ain't gonna never see her again on some stupid ass shit back in the day. Back in the day. I probably got a couple of little jet out there, man. Let me tell you something. If we walk out this motherfucking building and you get served again in front of me. <laughs> I got served in front of the worst person in the world. I will fall out on the right. ground. Child, child, <laughs> child support payment served downstairs by your new child and your new baby mama, Erica. What the fuck? Well, you just said she was your baby mom. I didn't even think that far ahead. Oh, for the new kid. Yeah, your new kid. You no. and Erica and new kid. No, all right. That shit is gone. I can't. Please call back. Please, 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 please. please. DM me. Please, 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 please. please. Why? Why? Call us. Please, Why do you want to know bad things about me? Shh. What did I say about when they talking about you? <laughs> they talking through me right now, so you got to be quiet. <laughs> well, hopefully the agreement is that I probably got to call and say she's a nice girl every day or something like that. Uh, not one person nice. has really said nice and you. I don't they know said why. Tim's. They I'm... said nasty. They Listen, said what? If you sit there and say, Wax got a lot of girls, that means girls enjoy being around me. I'm a really nice guy to girls and stuff like that. Girls saying you treat girls bad. It hurts my feelings because it's like, I don't really hurt. I don't be mean to these girls. Yes, you do. Just because I don't commit. That's pretty mean. That's How? leading on. You know what you just told me? Why don't you tell the people what you just told me? I don't know. <laughs> Where's we at? It's too much shit, isn't it? I don't it? know what's going on. It's too much shit, ain't it? So, basically, Wax just finished telling me huh? that we have, as a uh -huh. unit, all of us, the community, uh -huh. has convinced him uh -huh. to get into a faithful, okay. committed, okay. real, yes. authentic relationship, uh -huh. but only for a year. One year. What kind of shit is that? How do you limit, all right, so I'm going to love you, but it's only going to be for for this amount of time. No, listen, sometimes you like, I want, I want you know what a lease is? We nope. lease for a year in a car? If I lease not you... Not a car, this is a human. I understand that, but I think once you know you could get out of it, I think we'll take it one day at a time. 
what I'm saying? Give me like, ah, right, yo, listen, next weekend you my girlfriend, and then that whole weekend you my girlfriend, so I ain't gonna cheat on you. So every time I'm, I'm with you, I never cheat on you. So I'm 100% in our relationship. I never cheated on you. For a year. For a whole year. Every weekend, let's be together. And then what happens after the year? Then we can add one more day on. Now you get four days. Yo, what did I watch that was like this? This is amazing. No, this is a movie. Is and it's like you, oh, it was, Um, I think it was that show. What's that show? That's like the new age, um, Twilight Zone. Oh, yeah. But it's like the new age one. It's called like Black Moon or Black Mirror. Black Mirror. There we go. And it was an episode where it was a dating site. And mm-hmm. they give you a device and they give you a device. So you, whatever, you get the device and you yeah. you meet up with the person, right? And when you meet up with them, you look at your thing, you look at their thing, and it tell you how long y'all get to be together. Hot. So you don't know. You meet in this place and you could fall in love with them. But yeah. you'll look at your phone, the device, and it'll say three days. All right. So y'all go to a crib. I like they this. got a crib or whatever. Like so you stay with this person for three days. Hot. It don't matter if y'all fall in love or don't if y'all matter. hate each other. Perfect. It's three fucking days. That's cool. So one, it was a girl. She found a guy who was the love of her life in her mm-hmm. mind. And they had one day together. Hey. So then she met another guy. And mm-hmm. the fucking guy was just like, she thought he was the shit because he looked good and everything. But yeah. he ain't had no person a piece of shit, right? Yeah. Nigga, she had to spend three years Ooh, that's what I ain't got time for. I don't want to lock, yo, if I'm not going to lock myself into a car for three years, and somebody say you get a lease for three years, you're going to look at that shit like, nah. The most you do a lease what, for is for a year and a half. for three years. You three year lease? No, a year and a half, the most. I mean, you're going you to switch it anyway. Yeah, you're you know going to switch saying? it after the three years. Not after three years. You don't have a car for three years. Most of the people years. I know that have leases that are not, like, filthy rich have three-year leases, yes. Uh, that was a year and a half. I'm sorry. Hell no. When's the last time you leased a car? I don't. Okay, what are you talking about? It's a three-year lease. It is? Yes. That's too long. No, it's not. To have to do the same thing for three years straight? Yeah, but this is why your life is in shambles. Like, what the fuck? This is why you can't live like this. So, okay, after the year, it's going amazing. It's okay. going great. Okay. She even gets pregnant. Nice. What happens? Voila, poof, gone. Man, damn, you get to get somebody else too, right? Yeah, I mean, that's part of the year being over. But, that means we're done. All right, so say if me and you get by each other and I don't want to be with you, do I have to be with you? Or we, we just got the device and Oh, we're still talking technology. about the device. I was yeah. talking about real life because you said after a year done. No, with the device, whatever time they say, you cannot see that person. Like, you see them out, it just is what it is. Y'all can't, if y'all start dating or some shit, they take you away or some crazy shit, like you go to jail. Like, it was like some evil, scary-looking people Listen. that watch you and make sure Listen, you ain't doing mine is a little bit more easier than that. We just signed a contract saying we are together, we're going to rent this house for a year together. But this is what I'm saying. After the year, in your real life, okay. what happened? Now, if I, if I want to stay with her, we'll do something like a two-year lease now. No, Wax. This Come sounds on. ridiculous. No, it's not. I think this is going to save a lot of marriages. <laughs> Listen, we're giving, we're giving the system, the court system, too much money on all the divorce shit. You know what I'm saying? Come over to my way. I promise you, everybody will be this good. Nigga's a dickhead. Listen, for real, if you really think you like somebody, but like, listen, on the weekends, I'm going to start spending my weekends with you. You be my weekend girlfriend. Let's see if you I can You don't need a really... contract for that. That's called being an adult and having an understanding. Everything is on paper these days. Paper trail. No, it's not. Yeah. You do that's not why, have to that's put why your dudes... relationship on paper unless you're married. No, that's why Sin. dudes feel like they, that's why knock it off. <laughs> that's why dudes feel like we can cheat and shit like that because if y'all don't sign something, if I don't, if I don't put this shit down on paper and I say if you cheat on me, I get to fuck you up and I get to kick you out and la la la. I bet you dudes won't sign that shit. Let's start doing this. If you think your man really love you, write a contract. My nigga, that is called marriage. No, Are you no, sick, for you, just, just for your boyfriend. If you start having a fucking boyfriend girlfriend relation um, contract. Boyfriend and girlfriend turn into marriage, right? I know, but give and something. That's a relationship. For, when you first meet somebody, have start having contract, ladies. And let's see if this man so say I got bipolar. I talk too much. Uh, I fart in the bed at night. I snore. Let us know what the fuck is, is going on. Who is signing this? But you let us know who run. you are. As soon as you read it, you're going to be like, oh, okay, I'm going to the bathroom. Because that's what the fuck I would do if it'd be like baby mama drama. Yes. <laughs> going to cheat on your ass. Early. <laughs> All we're going to wear is. Might give you an STD. No. Don't know. Because I'm fucking other bitches raw. 
if I get somebody pregnant, whoops, my bad. <laughs> Sign here. Like, nigga, what the fuck is wrong? Might be, might punch you in the eye, but it's a mistake. Listen, listen, <laughs> like, listen. What? I, but that's what's going on no, out here in the no. streets. No, why is nobody sitting there telling who, who they fucking really are? As fuck as that is. I mean, but damn, why does that have to be who you are? Why can't you just be farting in the bed? Is who you are. Snoring. Anybody can fart in the bed. Come on. I don't know. I think I hold it. It's not just with... when you sleep, you can't hold. Okay. So girls really just be. <laughs> no, I don't know. That's anybody, but That's I can't wild. imagine you being sleep on your third dream talking about some. Oh, I got to fart. Matter of fact, I can't. I'm in the bed. <laughs> like... But girls be what's wild when y'all do it. Y'all always like trying to hold it in for mad long, especially if y'all been with us all day. If we had no argument, I left. It's like your fart smell crazy. But she's trying to. If she's trying to hold it in for you, that means she loves you. But anyway. that means let out when you sleep. That's not good. So you should be sleep too, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> farting too. Up. Y'all should be farting together in the well, bed. Well, if your if your girl wake you up with her fart, man, holla at us. Can you? Because I always um, like we've had this conversation, but like, so what do you feel about like your girl going to the bathroom, like taking a shit? I mean, baby, turn the shower on and act like you in there taking a the shower. Baby, I don't need to know you taking a shit. Just go do your thing. But what baby. if she's like, uh, my stomach hurts. You know, I got to go hit the bathroom. I'm like, all right, motherfucker, go do your thing. See, I to me, know. to me, that's nastier than somebody farting in their sleep by mistake. Yeah, but I, I don't want, baby, like, I always I want my never. baby to be, I always want my shorty to be a lady. You yeah, I would never talk yeah. about shit to my man. Yeah. Like, I, to me, I'd be like, girls don't shit. Like, yeah. and I say that, and I, obviously it's common sense. Everybody uses the bathroom. Y'all do? But like, no, not me. Oh. But, um, yeah, like I lived with somebody for a while, and he has said to me when we broke up, he was like, when did you ever shit? Nice. He's like, that's one thing I always wanted to ask you, because we lived together for like <laughs> five years. When did you, did you never shit in the five years? That's hot. And I'm like, mm, I'm shit, who does that? Girls don't Early. do that. Yeah, like, because yeah, yeah. I just feel like That's if, one good quality about you that all the rest of the shits is like fucked up. You got one percent of up. good. I just feel like if I want, <laughs> like even, you know what else, because we've talked about this as well with the period thing. Like, I don't like to, you gonna know. I don't wanna know. He just gonna know, like, all right, she must be on a period because she got a pad. Oh, no, you always acting like crazy. Like, you never no, know. I don't want to It's either L'Oreal got a shit or L'Oreal on her period. No. Like, what the fuck is she going crazy for now? Hey, shut up. I don't ever want to have to tell my nigga, like, uh, we can't have sex tonight because I have my period. Like, that should have You're supposed to know. Yeah, if you know, you know, nigga. Yeah. If not, you're running a light. That's why I never try, I never try to start, really. You know what I'm saying? You Unless run I know. lights, though. No, I don't. I don't like doing that shit. Yeah, that's crazy. You get hit by a fucking Mack truck if you do that <laughs> shit. One time, one time when I was in college, yo. What's a Mack girl, truck? A blood clot? No, I'm about to say your motherfucking blood clot was all on my shit. Ah! ah! A big blood clot? Oh, what? my blood God. Blood clot. Yo, this shit was like purple. It was like purple, uh, like purple red blood. Like a magenta you know? dark. Ew. Yo, listen. So this girl wasn't giving me no pussy for mad long. I'm finally laying in the bed with her. That bullshit that you gotta do. <laughs> and, you know, what I'm saying, act like oh, give me a massage, and she start giving you a massage, and you turn over, <laughs> give me a massage in my chest, and she massages my chest and shit. And then she, um, so you know, put the little pinky in, and she playing around, you under the covers, and and I'm, I'm finger her. And I'm talking about this shit was like super duper wet, like some dumb shit. Mm-hmm. Man, my, I looked up like it's got to be something crazy. I looked at my motherfucking fingers. This shit was purple, red, fucking blood go around my. Ah. So she was. So she like grabbed my hand, like try to cover my hand, like no, don't look at it. Like oh my gosh. But she knew she had her period. Come on, that's what I'm saying. Come Especially on. Especially if you at the point of blood clotting, like sis, you blood clotting me. You got your period. It ain't just start. You really? had that shit for two days at least, or a day. That's Who's nasty. Okay, I want to get into the voicemails because Jeez. my vision right now just is all off, and I just feel sick. Um, look at it. It's still on your hand. I see it now. Uh, it, it's it's natural and it is what it is, but sis played you. Jesus. All right, we're going to get into the voicemails. Oh, wait. If y'all want to leave a voicemail, make sure you call up. Yeah. And the number is... 347-679-6118. How at us. I promise I'm going to learn the number one Don't day. worry about it. I got it. Just so we can say it together like a family. Yeah. 
Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, a, like a isn't that Barney? I love you. You hate me. Yes, I do, 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 do. do. I'm a pussy. You like do, 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 do in your on hand. You. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to smack you with my hand. So what? <laughs> Yo, Willie and the Beast podcast, what it do? Yo, it's your boy Keith. Uh, shit, so I got me a little situation, you know what I mean? So check this out. Me and my bra got into it, you know what I mean? We married me and my bra got into it and whatnot. And, uh, you know what I mean? She let all the air out of a nigga ties and <laughs> shit. Started the motherfucking life shit, cussing nigga. I really pretty much treated me like a bitch, bro. So, what a nigga did when I seen a motherfucking, uh, fucking with a nigga ties, I thought she was slicing it on the cool. So, you know, a nigga moved out the way, like, what you doing? Soon as a nigga moved out the way, you know what I'm saying? She gonna tumble over, scrape the little hand, you know, and uh, call the call the folks on your boy. You know what I mean? I spent the night in county, down there, lost my gig and shit. So what's the damn deal? I'm like, should I, should I, should I, should I keep this shit going and we work it out? Or should I just let the broad go? Because honestly... I'm like Latoya Lucky torn in between the two. <laughs> you know what I mean? So holla at your boy, man. Get at me, let me know. Peace. Oh, yeah. Listen, Ray Rice. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to be knocking bitches out, <laughs> you got to know that consequences come with that shit. You can't just Ooh. be out here putting your hands on people. Am I wrong? No, a thousand percent. But and who Tumbled. Th- yeah, yeah. Scrape hand. Yeah. Tell me fell. Listen, but um, who decision is it if y'all get back together? Is she saying she wants you back and you're just trying to decide that you don't want to be with her? Or are you stalking her and do yeah, she need a yeah, restraining order? Exactly. So what's going on for real? Don't be like, uh, what should I do? What's up to her? <laughs> what did the police say you should do, sir? Exactly. Do you got a restraining order you with you with this shit? Like, what's How up? many feet does the paper say you should stay How away? many feet did you throw her? <laughs> That's not funny. I'm not, we're not because laughing we don't, at that. We don't support Yeah, that's not cool. We were just show. saying like, bro, what the fuck? Nah, I he, don't know. I don't he know. definitely, yeah, say you, know you what? fell. I, I peep what you said. Say listen, you fell. <laughs> listen, and, and, I, and I'm not going to even act like, like I had girls fuck my vehicles up. Yeah. I didn't fuck the vehicle up. I'm talking about fuck my shit. Yo, I probably could have another vehicle paid off as many window shields, Fucking flat tires, paint <laughs> over my car. I had you ain't shit. spray paint on my shit. Yo, I got my. I, I remember I got my new motorcycle and my new Hayabusa 1300. Thinking I'm the man. Come to school, park my shit. Man, first day, motherfucker, flat my tire, man. Yeah. Fuck this nigga. <laughs> I like. I've seen girls go so far as to put bitch or hoe into a nigga car. I haven't gone that far. Slut. But I've definitely keyed my ex's range. I, I broke his windshield a few times. More than once. Like, um, y'all niggas ain't shit. And what the thing is... Yeah, we not shit, but you yeah. tell us what you did to him. But this is the shit. thing, because I can't hurt you like you hurt me. So I feel like you love your car that much that this yes, is what I'm going to do. Yes, y'all know what to do. do. Ouch. Yeah. This is my baby. Well, Leave ouch, it alone. this is my heart. Unfortunately, you don't give a fuck, but I'm going to make sure you do now when you're Ooh, fixing your fucking car. Ouch. You bitch nigga, you. <laughs> not the car. Leave the, the car, car alone. The car. That's why God invented... You got to key it. Listen, that's how you That's why imprint. God invented garages. For stuff like this. I'm not going to lie. Nowadays or something in, in this age, like, I would just be like, I don't have time for this shit. Fuck this nigga. I'm going to give me a different nigga. But... Is that easy? Yeah, because I I just feel like I don't have time for that shit no more. I when you. I was a little younger... I could go. I had time to go to jail on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and he better come get you. you. Know, so he gonna come get me, take me to eat, take yes. me, you know, say sorry for me doing that to him. Yes. <laughs> and buy me a bag or yes. something. Yes. Yep. You know. But you now know, she locked up. What we were gonna do for her, man? What look I now, I like that was when I needed you to buy my bag. Now I could buy my own bag. Early. So fuck you. Early. That car and the bitch you rode in on, mm-hmm. or the bitch that rode you in. Your car. Uh-huh. So I am I think that he needs to stop putting his hands on people. Definitely. Obey Definitely. the restraining order. Only going to be bad for you there, brother. 
Nah, but for real, she shouldn't. That's a toxic relationship. Yes. She's touching your car, you touching her. Yeah, but what what made her even go after she the car? She cheated on her. Most likely. Yeah, but we she's don't seen got like enough. Her pictures she either stuff burned like her or cheated on her. Yeah, it's all good. There's only one of the two. Yeah, either or got way. a baby on the way, which means he cheated on her. Yeah. So whatever you did, stop doing. And you can't even know, like, you can't even... Even your girl, like, whooping your ass, it all depends on what your girl could do. Your girl could hit you with a bat if she, like, catch you in the act of fucking a girl. <laughs> like, you, there's certain things they, they can do to you. Like, my girl could smack the shit out of me if she, like, in my in the bathroom, like, yo, where my phone at? And she in there for Matt Long, and she reading all my text messages, seeing me fucking girls on the phone and shit. When she come out that bath, she could smack the shit out of me. You know what? And hand me my phone. I'm not it's gonna, nothing like, you can do. I'm not going through somebody's phone that you know is doing some shit. It's they, just They don't, do it. They it, do it. That got to be the most hurtful shit. Ooh, why you doing that to yourself? I don't go through people's phones. Like, Good. I've had somebody do it to me, so like I might have looked at, like, act like I was going to go on his phone, or I might have looked at like a text message that popped up on the screen. But I never like have broken into somebody's phone. It's so whack. And Privacy like is that. so whack. Oh, my God. Yeah, my ex, one time I was on, on the phone, and the number popped up, and he could see. <laughs> Niggas is funny. It was an out of state thing, so he was like, "What basketball nigga you got calling your phone? Yeah, what, what football player is that? Because you know it's some yeah. sou- southern ass number area code yeah, that peace. it was like Indiana, some weird shit." Mm-hmm. So um, he started spazzing, and then I'm like, "What are you talking? About? I don't even know who number that was. Probably a telemarketer, whatever." Mm-hmm. The nigga snatched my phone. <laughs> And ran and locked herself in the bathroom. Listen to me. Nigga. Guess, guess what? Guess what? Oh, guess my what? God. Do I have to say this? This is raw sex. <laughs> no, that was my boyfriend. We lived together. So that was raw sex. That's it. But yeah. why you would You made him ooh-ah. But you a nigga, though. I feel like... You made a nigga ooh-ah. What that mean? If you make a nigga ooh-ah, he gonna grab your phone and run in the bathroom. What's ooh-ah? What's he, making a nigga ooh-ah? Whatever you did, you eat his ass. You made this... You, you did... You made this motherfucker snatch your phone. How the fuck I look like grab my shorty phone, where did it happen? I thought it was the fucking, and like, I just thought it was the fucking weirdest, yeah. most womanist thing that I did, ever seen. Did he ooh ah when you eat his ass? Like, what was he doing? Yeah, ooh ah, what the fuck? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with you, okay? But I, when I tell you my heart was in my fucking bottom of my foot, my Ooh, nigga. He was he, everything. Because he locked himself in the back. There's nothing I could do. Yeah. Like, forget the fact that I can't even beat him if we were in a yes. pushing the door yeah, back and you forth could do. battle. You could do. He was like this. He Shut was just, he looked at everything. I only, the crazy thing is I wasn't even cheating on him. It was a nigga that was trying to talk to me and he was a basketball player. Peace. So he was right. Yeah. He was right, but I didn't fuck the nigga. I didn't even nothing the nigga. Listen. But it was just like the nigga was just hitting me. But we hate that we was right, but we we want to be wrong. I didn't cheat on him though, so he was yeah. wrong. Nah, you you always cheat when you cheat when you got somebody else hit you. Period. I mean, I can't help somebody giving my phone number no, out. No, 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 no. Because he didn't get my you number. You don't from respond. Me. Sorry. I have a man. Don't ever hit me back again, you Why bozo the ass piece of shit, motherfucker. Don't ever fucking call this phone and be disrespectful to me and my man. Do you do that when the whores is asking you to fuck and they know you got a girl? I need somebody to help me spell all that shit. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I just don't. I just don't do all that. I just be like, okay. Nigga, please. Yep. Okay. Not even K. Oh, okay. Just K. Oh, okay. I'm just going K. <laughs> K for girls. If y'all, y'all, y'all would never see me LOL or K. You just put LOL in the chat. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whack. Come on. And you put K. Come on. Let me see. Show <laughs> gay ass. Let me see right now. Let me see right now. Pull it I'm up. I'm going to show you. I, you know, I always Break like Break the next voicemail and I'm gonna, we going to show you. Something. That was only one voicemail? L'Oreal, I love you. Wax, I really love you. Even though you're an asshole, I really love you. But I need your advice, both of you guys, not just Wax, because I don't know. Oh, my gosh. I started this situation. I started a new job a couple of months ago, and my supervisor, my manager, is so fucking fine. So (sighs) he tried to talk to me, and we ended up talking, and he's so fucking aggravating. What do I do? Like, he's already kind of helped me get off of certain situations. 
and I'm appreciative, but he calls me all day. Like, I'll say, I'm going to call you back. And this nigga calls me right the fuck back before I could even do that. Like, and how do I'm rude as fuck. So I don't know how to be nice and let someone down. Normally, once I tell a nigga how I feel, he gets pissed off and we just don't talk like that. So I'm moving to a new site um, in like August or September. So I, my plan originally was to kind of just be cool and whatever. And so then, and then I'll have a different supervisor, but he's so fucking aggravating and I feel myself about to snap. So like, how do I, how do I end this situation? Or do you think I should end it and wait until like August or September or what? Because he always wants to come to my house after we get off of work. He works the same schedule. So I'll tell him no and he'll still try to come or like he always tries to invite me places and he know my schedule so he know I can't lie like what should I do please help me and again like I love you and Maria I love you so much you and Angela you are my best friend (laughs) bye I'm mad at her because she she don't listen to us cause we said it before don't fuck with nobody That you do any kind of business with, work with, job, or nothing. Just one time. No. All right. Now look what happened. You got an annoying ass nigga that you don't even really like now. Did, did she say she fucked him? She said that they went out, which means they, who knows they, what they, happened. They, 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 she got some good pussy because he's like coming. But it does not matter. Find you, out her Instagram. You got to see him every day. All right. Regardless, say they didn't fuck or say her pussy was terrible. Say his dick was small. Regardless, mm-hmm. right? You have to see this motherfucker every day. Regardless of if you like him or not. Uh, If you love him, it sucks. If you hate him, it sucks. Perfect. He might not work out. It's never going to work out. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's the biggest mistake. I say this over and over and over and over. I I got got two things for her. You want to hear them? Go ahead. All right. Invite him over. Take a shit. Don't don't flush the toilet, but put like toilet tissue around it. Men gonna have to go to the bathroom. But when he gets to the house, keep giving him beverages. You want something to drink? You want a beer? Everything <laughs> is drink so he can go take a piss and see how nasty you is. Yeah. But what it's a Easily t- he's, turn off. He's annoying, she said. Maybe he don't this, care. No, no, no. Okay. There's one. That's one. This one this is one to hit you. This gotta go. I got you. Take him out to eat, right? Have a motherfucking white pants on and have like a period thing in the back. And say, I feel something back here. Do you see something? And you be like, what's that right there? And make him touch the period blood. Or he's going to be like, we're really together now because she trusts Whoa. me enough to tell then he me. Then he need to go, <laughs> they call the cops on him because his <laughs> motherfucker is crazy. Anybody, you just don't play around with anybody that m- makes your schedule, pays you. She better go um, to another site though. No, she has to get away from him already. Nah, I get it, but I think she should hold out though, for real. Hold out and turn him off, like do this doodle shit for real. Um, and always act like something wrong with your stomach. Fade men hate the black. that shit. No, men hate that. Men always hate that. Now I got to take care of you because your stomach is so you be like, okay, you come bring me something at my house. Oh, good, you want to come over? I need somebody to take care of me. I don't feel nah, good. Nah, you wanted something. I, else. I got your back. You I know think what I'm saying? You wanted something. Else. Yeah, men hate Once that you said shit. Men and take care. If I was her, I'd be like, hey, babe, can I? Can you do me a favor? I need $10,000. No, no, no. I need some tampons. I need you to come give me $10, some $10,000. That nigga ain't going to give her that shit. So that way she could just be like, I can't even talk to you because when I really needed you in the time. <laughs> <laughs> so she got to say it's for something crazy. Like, yes. it's for surgery yes. on my elbow. No. <laughs> for work. Don't, 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 do, don't put <laughs> like, it on you. Put it on somebody who mom. already dead. No. no. Put it on somebody who already died. And yeah. say them, their elbow. Your grandma. You got to be like, my grandma just found out that, you know, it's gotten worse. Don't say what. <laughs> Don't say what. Just it. It's gotten worse. And we're going to have, they're going to have to operate. In the order for them we to operate. 10,000 less. We need, need 10,000 10, more. And send you the Make sure you say more. More. Yes. 10,000 more. Because like, I already I, put up everything I have. I have we all, all the family came together. We just need 10,000 more. You know more. how much I get paid, right? Yes. I ain't got $10,000. You, you, you know and how you much I this. get paid. You can do this. You can save our whole family. What if he go like this? Well, I'll just give you some more hours. That way I can see you more. <laughs> you <Yeah. laughs> i give you overtime. It's Christmas time, too. <laughs> like, motherfucker. Yeah, I won't buy you no gifts. I'll just give you uh, the money towards grandma. Nah, fuck that. Yeah. Get rid of this nigga. No. Find your new job and just keep it No, moving. I think her, she going to the uh, next site. 
right? What does that mean? Construction? He, he gonna give it? No, he gonna... He, <laughs> no, he, wherever they work at, doing boxes or whatever the fuck she at, that's what I pictured in my mind when she said it. Um, I thought she was a construction worker because you like the next site. No, that's what she said. She said she gotta go to another site. Oh, you know what okay. I'm saying? She going to the next site. So I'm like... All right, he can recommend you and put you in a better position in the next site because of yeah, his power. Yeah, you can't shit on him. Don't shit on this guy. Because he the manager. Yeah, you got to kind of like, you know, it's nothing wrong with showing titties. Yeah, yeah, she can't even say she busy because he's like, bitch, you're you're off all weekend. Always act like your stomach hurt. Men hate that shit. Make a man come over and take care of you. To make him cuddle with you on the couch knowing he can't get no pussy. Here, he's not going to enjoy this shit. Well, she need like a gangsta ass person around her and be like, man, my boyfriend just got out of jail. Yeah. <laughs> he said he's going to kill me and you if you call me again. <laughs> I didn't tell him we work together, so it's okay. Uh, I can see you, yes. but not like that. Not like that. Just take it easy. You have a son, baby boy? Slow him down. You don't want these problems. <laughs> yeah, listen. I, exactly. We, we just need you to slow down, pump your brakes. They got the cops up there a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got a roadblock up there. Just pump your brakes a little bit, but don't get rid of this guy. Yeah. You need this guy for the next site. You he don't... might bury you under the site. Yeah, exactly. The, or, yeah, the next <laughs> site, you might be the fucking um, male person. No, <laughs> you want to be high in that thing, so make, you might have to do a little, still something strange for Hopefully a little bit of Hopefully she gets to leave him behind on the next site. Yeah, I don't think he's going to go to the next site. He's going to find the next person to smash. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay, let's get into the next caller. Yeah. Terrible <laughs> advice. <laughs> Bully and the Beast, what's up? Wax, what's up? Barry, yeah, what's up? Hey, Wax, uh, I think you just be trying to play crazy, my guy. But, uh, shit, you cool with me, dog. Uh, L'Oreal, you beautiful. Diddy, what up? Nah, but, um, I got a question for y'all that y'all can possibly use for, uh, who's on drugs. And the question is, is it wrong for you to masturbate to a picture or a video of somebody who you want to fuck, but you don't fuck because you are in a relationship. I'd like for y'all to weigh in on that. All right? Damn. Damn. How would you feel if your girl, when you were at home, was (laughs) masturbating to a picture of Sharla? I don't know. I really don't know you know how I act. I'm not gonna lie to you. And like you walk in and catch her, and she like this, and she's and she like looking at a picture of him on her phone. I'm like, I mean, listen, <laughs> anything, listen, anything that you show me, I appreciate it because no more time is lost. See, I'm that guy. You know what I'm saying? I walk, I know how to walk away from things in two seconds. I'm like, boom, perfect. I know what this is. I, I don't know why. That's probably why I always got other things going on. Because I've seen it happen too many times. I'm kind of like really fucked up in my brain about all these girls I'll be smashing. I got boyfriends. So, me, I'm probably a little different. So you would be okay with it? I wouldn't be okay. I I know who you is, and I'd be like, I I know exactly. I'm gonna fuck one of your girls now. <laughs> yeah. But you'll still fuck her. I shall still fuck her for pussy good and stuff like that. I listen. I'm not gonna lose out because you want to fuck somebody that I know. Right. I'm different. You know what I'm saying I only do things because I like doing it. I don't like doing it because you want me to do the shit. Really. I just feel like that's kind of like like say he's in a relationship for a while. And his girlfriend walks in. That would be hurtful to me. Like, if yeah. it was a celebrity and it's like, that's your form of porn, then yeah. okay, I think that might be if a little different. somebody see me jerking off off Rihanna, like, Then out. that's something Relax. different. Like, I just feel like that's like porn with, yeah. no, with clothes on or something because she yeah. don't really get but so naked. Well, she does. But, yeah, she does. Yeah, she gets naked. Nice. But like, um, that to me, that would, but if it's your ex-girlfriend, Nigga. That mean he do it better than me? Nigga. And, and like, you rather fuck a picture of her than me? <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> I'm right here. Nah, If I catch you, I'm right here. Like, what the wrong fuck? With that. I'm not going to That's a big for, fucking problem. For him to rather fuck the picture than his girl, yeah. You yeah. got to let go of that girl. Go find the picture. Yeah, man. Hey, yo, burn that shit. Because whatever picture that is, that's fucking your household up. Yeah, it is. But it's his, it's his, it's his fantasies and it's what he wants. So it's like, I don't know, but it, what if he, at the same time, was just really a faithful man and that was as bad as it got? Or in your yeah, case, a woman. Shit go. It, what yeah. if it was a woman, like a faithful woman, and that was as bad as it got? 
I can't get mad. Like, is she fucking looking at fucking Tevin Campbell shit or fucking, Tevin I don't, Campbell's gay. I don't and, fucking know. I just, I just went with what R&B, the, motherfucker. And he's also, like, 50 years old. <laughs> I don't fucking know what the girls you like. You could have said Chris Brown. You could have said Trey girl, Song. I don't fucking know these guys. The girls like them. I don't fucking know. I say Nick, me. Tevin Campbell, <laughs> Tell me what anything. you want me to do, face The girls like these songs, right? Y'all like these songs? That nigga been gay for 30 years. <laughs> 30. Says, I was born, he was gay. Listen, I don't even know these guys. It's fucking Frankie Lyman. You know what I'm saying? I'm dead. I'm done. Who? You. Why? Because. Y'all know Frankie Lyman? All the fucking women is Frankie coming Lyman after him. I know Frankie is. Why do fools I don't, follow I don't, But you naming niggas from the 60s. That's the only movies I watch. Though. I don't watch no fucking new movies. I don't know shit the fuck is going she's on. She's looking at a picture of Frankie Lyman. No, <laughs> no. That she's fucking 96 and she's looking. <laughs> what the fuck kind of old bitches? I don't know who else is out there. Okay. Just, right. just done. So what do you, so your advice to him is, he's fucking a picture and not his bitch. Oh. Um. <laughs> Damn. I mean, listen, I know certain times, certain girls, like, I know a girl that I be fucking, and I be telling her, like, yo, come on, my wife is about to come upstairs. And then she start nutting. You know what I'm saying? She needs that little fantasy, or I be like... That's oh. like role-playing. Yeah, she... Oh, that's... Oh, oh, I, I oh you are a role-player. So. Yeah, that's me all day. You yeah. got costumes and shit? I mean, it all depends on what she want to put on. She put the shit on and stuff like that. That's what Do I'm you gonna... have costumes? No costumes. You could be the nigga from Game of Thrones. I don't even know nothing about the shows. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. All old movies. I, I don't know this new shit. I ain't watched TV in years. Okay. Yeah, I just have the shit because everybody else got that shit in their house. I'd rather a fish tank, really. Well, this was supposed to be later on for the show, but... um, Okay, so since we were talking about fucking pictures instead of your man uh-huh. or girl or whatever. So if you're not consistently fucking your man or woman, in your case, and they cheat, Whose fault is it? So, in your case, it would be if your girl ain't giving you no pussy, uh-huh. is it your fault for cheating or is it hers? Her fault. Why? Take care, why? Take care of your man. Really? Yes. Why is it not the guy's job to find out why she's not having sex with him? I mean, if your girl have... Now, if you're not married to her... this is But this is a relationship. Yes. You're in a one-year relationship one with a contract. One year. Okay. <laughs> She you, signed. Oh, she signed for the... Then we both were not going to cheat on each other. If so, I'm going to bring you to court and take your all your Jordans. She leased you? Yes. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, no money could be involved. It could be like, I, I, I have your whole PlayStation set or I have all your Jordans okay, set. Okay, but get, yeah. just get to the point. Of, do you all think right. it's her fault and why it wouldn't be your fault for trying to figure out what the issue is? Fuck fine now. They get pussy, you're supposed to get wet. Why are we together and your pussy don't get wet every time I come around you? So what if she just like, just no, not tonight. I have a headache. I oh, got a headache. All right, next night, the next night. We next got night, next... oh, my, my, um, I got purple blood clot. Guess what? We're going to the hospital. <laughs> and we're going to figure out the fucking wrong with you. I got to know if I'm going to leave you at the hospital or not. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got You got all this fucking shit is wrong with you. You're going to drop you off like a fucking car in a, in a mechanic. If I got fucking smoke coming out my fucking engine, <laughs> I'm bringing you into the fucking mechanic shop. I hate how and you And you tell compare. me that you got a fucking headache and shit two nights in a row, baby, we're going to the mechanic shop tomorrow, and that's the hospital. I hate how you compare women to cars. I'm it's sorry. It's so annoying. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> so I personally think that you got to get to the bottom of it, because if your nigga ain't fucking you, he fucking somebody. For sure. And man same, is just same, not out here not fucking. And same with woman. If that girl man. pussy is, man, <laughs> that girl sit there and, and, and I forgot. Now, I have, <laughs> why do you do this? I don't know. Who's on drugs? So I have, I had a friend who <laughs> her her man was a fucking her, right? Yeah. And for in the beginning, she wasn't fucking nobody else. She mm-hmm. was really concerned with what was going on with him. But mm-hmm. I would tell her, I'm like, girl, you know what's going on with him? She's like, well, I'm like, he's fucking somebody else. Definitely. And she would be like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> and she really like I had like her. no. And she's not even like that. Like, she's not like... A, she really felt like he wasn't cheating. I like her. She thought it was, like, other issues, like, health-wise. Because mm. she knows. Maybe he's not there. Because she know he ain't getting up that much. But but a lot of times, you know, sometimes my shit don't get all the way hard for certain girls. But what but is certain it? certain girls, it get really hard. Like, it really be rock. But what is the reasoning, you think? 
Uh, I just not a thousand. I think every girl you deal with, you get a certain type of attraction to. So a lot of times it's like, oh, this limp dick nigga. But I bet you if your friend come in this motherfucker, I bet you'll be rock hard like a motherfucker. So it's the woman, not you. Uh, for us, we got to have a certain type of blood that come from our brain. So if we really care, I think a lot of blood come from our brain and goes to our meat. Well, what happened to your brain? I got too much blood in my yeah, meat. Yeah, it must be too much blood <laughs> in your brain. <laughs> it's too much in my meat because wherever the blood goes, it, it, it brings more of the organs up. I think if you really love somebody, then you should find out what the problem is. Yeah, of course. You got like, baby, why you not trying to give me no pussy? Yeah, and you know I feel like you should come out and say it just like that. Just like that. It's your boy. You know me. Because I, I just don't understand why you would be with somebody that you can't just come out and talk yeah. to you like that. But I do feel like, guys, y'all have a problem communicating. No, listen, if that warning light should come right on and the check engine light should come right on, like we should figure something out. So oh, I think when no. it comes to sex, y'all don't have no problem with saying what y'all got to say. I think communicating just period, like If you know your period, you stop no, that ass a couple period. of times. What? What do you mean period? No, I'm just saying, I said if, if you ain't, if a female ain't on her period, you smack oh. her ass a couple of times and she ain't ready to toot up, what happened? You already got fucked or something? Like, what's good? Or she... She not feeling you. I That's what I'm, I'm saying. Too. Yeah, you me, me too. <laughs> I got the hiccups. Can we get some more? I'm drunk. Oh shit! Wax wants more. I want more too. Let's drink. Um. Yeah, come on, come on. Your your girl, your shorty, not always ready to want to fucking. She ain't got no headache. And she ain't on her period. She ain't, like something ain't right, wrong with her. The girl's always ready to get some dick. Just a little bit. And some in house meat. If um no, I was talking to Taylor. When that's I that's, a, that's like that's like a kid at a kid a candy it. store. Um, but yeah, I agree with you. If your girl not trying to fuck you, signs up. Something like ain't right. she got another nigga. Word she up. burning. She, yeah, that's she, what I'm saying. Something already, something already been taken care of already. Um, what else would be a reason why your girl not fucking you? No, but you know what one person said to me before, like why yeah. she didn't want to fuck her man. Right. She was like, I just don't feel like you know. It sounds like a movie, but she wasn't feeling like pretty or <laughs> like she felt like you know she had gained some weight. Or whatever, oh, no. so... You gotta turn the lights off. Turn the lights off. Rico Love Voice. Yeah, I don't know. I don't give a fuck about that kind of shit either. Yeah, right, boy. Good I shit. Like, if I slap that ass, I mean, I want some pussy from you right now. What's good? No, I'm looking at my phone. If I'm looking at porn, I'm gonna start being nasty. You I don't understand I don't girls that do that. Like, no, no, I don't want to... I'd be like, if I'm in a relationship, I want to have sex with my man. That's like, what I'm saying. That's yours. Let me take care of this shit always. That's you know what, what we saying? together for, to have sex. That's it. Why else yeah, we here? Yeah, what, for what you else? to feed me, wash my clothes, <laughs> and give me some pussy when you want some dick. For him to feed me, for him to buy me stuff. Exactly. And to take love care me of when I want to be loved. And provide and protect for your motherfucking ass. Anybody come and around. protect me. Hell yeah. And make me laugh. And make you fucking laugh. That's what it's all about. People make it seem like it's so much more than what it is. Like, what's really more? And be fucking faithful and loyal. That's Man, now that... you're asking for too much. Now, <laughs> now, now it's like this. The scale just tips. Well, just, just make now. sure, just make sure you don't get asked for that as well. No, no, um, no. Be respectful to yourself, you young ladies. Well, you be respectful Y'all to yourself. Y'all are queens, young niggas. You're right. <laughs> I think I'm drunk for real. Though. All right, so you always get into it with Uber drivers, right? Mm, I guess. Yeah. When was the last time? Uh, you know the funny part about it? It's been a little minute now, but it's been the last two years, it's been six of them. But, um... Six incidents? Yes, but the actually one of the worst ones, and the cops even pulled up, um... He drove me again the other day. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it was What's so the odds of you get in the same? The same area. I didn't, and I gave him five stars. I kept, let him keep his job, even though I had to smack him up and take his keys out of his car and do all that dumb shit. I want to know what your rate is on. No, I, I'm got, I got kicked off. Uh. I'm like, I'm gone. Like everybody else, I cash app them and they they give me an Uber. Who in everyone. they right? Oh, you did talk about this, but who in they yeah. right mind would let you use theirs after they know how you treat people? Everybody. Oh, he looking at two people in yeah. his room. That Everybody if I need, they like, come on, look me out. If I got to smack them up, they did some. Have you gotten wax at Uber before? So you, <laughs> so you, so you got. So you it. telling me that you not going to fucking she let me get it. one? But I'm like, I need to go home with this cash app. You not going to do it? No, nigga, she chaperoned you on the last one. <laughs> the fuck? And I was acting good, right? Because you didn't have a choice. She was there like, <laughs> she had you by your ear like, nigga. Don't touch nothing. <laughs> Don't say nothing. Don't be nothing. Yo, this dude, but this one right here, this dude was kind of about it because he was trying to grab, go up under his seat before I grabbed his ass. He had a gun? No, he had no gun. He had a fucking machete under his shit. 
He's trying to slice me the fuck. He's like, oh, you don't want to get out? You don't want to get out? And the motherfucker try to go over and see. I nope. You got the right motherfucker. Yeah, come in, nigga. That's how you got the ball spot? That's how he got you the ball spot. in time? I ducked it. That motherfucker <laughs> sliced my shit like it was a motherfucking cantaloupe. <laughs> I'm weak. So, okay, that was the last fight you had with a machete. No, 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 that wasn't the last. Oh, with a machete, yeah. <laughs> that was the last one. Yeah, with Where a machete. were you going, and what was the problem? No, it was early in the morning. I was trying to get to work, and he was trying to take me to the Lincoln Tunnel, and I told him, you got to go right outside the Highland Tunnel. And he was like, oh, no, no, the GPS said this. I, I don't I don't want to get lost. It's like, family, I'm I telling know the you. Way. Don't, I don't know who you are. I don't know if you're going to kidnap me. I don't know what the fuck you got going on. You know what I'm saying? Just let's go my way. I promise you I'm not going to steer you wrong. Yeah, because you see the shit they doing with Uber. I'm not fucking around with these people. I don't know who this dude is. So he's taking me up in some dark dark road. I said, bro, I'm telling you right now, if you don't turn around, I'm going to knock you the fuck out. <laughs> he's like, oh, you going to hit me? You going to hit me? Pulled over inside the road. Get out. I was in dark, this dark-ass road fam. I don't know where the fuck I'm at. Take me back where the fuck you got me at. Said, <laughs> oh, you don't want to get out? You don't want to get out? And try to go up in his seat. Yep, got you. You got the right one. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, no, oh, it's me? I'm thinking I'm getting kidnapped. Are you telling me that it's me? I don't know, because I know that you started it. Uh, see how? That's how everybody you else feels about me. Seat? No, I was in the back seat, and I yoked him up, smack, smack, the seat of his car and everything. You lucky you're not in jail for that shit. Thank God I'm not. Thank God he ain't. No, the cops came and everything. Oh, they did? Hell yeah. He called the cops and all that shit. I'm, I'm not even getting to the point where I'm going that far with an Uber driver. I got into it with probably, like, maybe only one driver ever, and it was because, <laughs> it, which means something's wrong with you. Oh, because Gloria, you just got I've seen around. you get into it with so many people. And that goes to show you, I only got in an argument with one Uber driver One Uber ever. driver, one um, so, park and attendant, I'm you one no, no. doctor, one... Uh, I never got into it with yo, a parking L'Oreal, attendant. Yo, L'Oreal, L'Oreal. No doctors. I, listen, only... I don't mess with people that do anything... To me, like as far as touch my Listen. car, you drive in my car, I'm not gonna be nasty to you. Why would I be nasty to park attendants? Never. Listen. You a doctor? <laughs> I'm ignoring it. You're a doctor and you gotta prescribe some shit to me or what? Why would I be nasty to you? It's not gonna be no, nasty. Real to just can't help it. Listen, I want I was looking at her story one day, right? And she just called a lady a bitch. And the lady really didn't even try to do nothing to her. That's not true. What happened? You never seen nothing like that. I on put on your I put on your page. Why are you so fucking crazy? Who did you, I call you, you, you was like this stupid ass bitch, and she was like, "Oh, sorry." I think she she like you said this stupid ass bitch just hit me or or run into me or something like no, this. No, you talking about the what the bus driver thing? No, you was in a bar or you was somewhere like somewhere eating or something like that, and you was doing something with somebody, and she bumped into you. Oh, it was my <laughs> friend, dummy. That was oh, my yeah. friend. Yeah, still, you're still crazy. <laughs> oh, so I know what you're talking about. I was taking a picture with Ducky Confetti. We were at yeah. the uh, we was at Felice. We was taking a picture and or doing a Snapchat, and I'm all doing my little sexy thing. And then she like bumped into was the sexy. chair. That was your sexy Shut shit. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> she bumped into my chair and like knocked me forward in the middle of the picture. And I'm like, damn, bitch, what the fuck? Like, you see me trying to take a picture. And she was like, oh, sorry. But she was my friend. Like, oh. it was a joke. See? Niggas be blowing shit out of proportion. I just proportion. thought that was just somebody. You know this nigga saying? is slapping nice. Uber drivers. So what? And he tried to compare it to me playing around with my friend. I thought that was, you know, I know that was your friend. All right, so what? You see, you're listen, the evil one. Whoa, here, beast. Listen, I took, I, I listen. I said the guy tried to get me with a fucking machete, and I'm the bad guy. Like, what the fuck is this? I'm just bad, regardless, right? Let him do his own job. He's the driver. Let him drive. You're not taking me to the Lincoln Tunnel. I, I know hate it's not a the backseat right. driver. Gosh, get a car. Why am I going to the fucking Lincoln Tunnel? You know where we work at. Yeah. Why? What do you mean? Because that's the faster route. Oh, man, you crazy yeah. as hell. There's no fucking way. you take taking me up fucking 30 something blocks. Nigga, at gonna be... five in the morning, you're breezing through all that. She's she on drugs. Is she crazy? Yeah. She know exactly where it's at. Is she playing, is she playing games? I don't you're know not taking me about. all the way up there, buddy. I don't Turn know. here. This nigga. I would have got the machete. I want to get the machete out right now, but yeah, I don't have one. Whatever. So anyway, um, a New Orleans rapper, he was arrested. I mean, she was arrested for sending her kid to school in a lift. So it just happened a few weeks ago. Um, she got arrested for child endangerment, obviously. Because mm-hmm. the kid was only five years fucking old. Bugged out. 
wilding. Why would you send your damn five year old with a Lyft driver? Like, it's a stranger still. That's a stranger. The fuck. If grown women are getting kidnapped, what you think they're gonna do with a little kid? If I gotta beat this motherfucker up, what you think you gonna put your kid in there for? Come on, exactly. So the driver actually called um, the police on her. The like he picked up the kid and everything, and then he called the police. Good. So not a um, bad move, fam. Because she just do that. She's very dangerous. So it reports that she also had two outstanding warrants for traffic. Sure. And then... Um, I'd probably do too. So she was the original... She made it... Remember that for the D challenge? I go, oh. something for the D. I hated that. I hated that. She started that shit. I, so I hated her. that so hate much. hate her too. No, I, I, don't, I don't hate anybody. <laughs> I, I love hated everybody. Hated it. Yeah, I hate I love everybody. But I hated that uh that bullshit. You see these young girls and say, I do this. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with your little young ass? Don't do that. That's not what y'all supposed to do. And these grown women shouldn't be doing that and showing y'all this is what the fuck you're supposed to do. That's it was very disgusting. But just because a grown person does it doesn't mean your young ass needs to be not, doing but it too. They wanna follow y'all, they look up to y'all. Y'all supposed to know better than being doing saying that nasty shit. All the people that was actually saying that. Well, I, I want to see all the people. Y'all pull up y'all for the D challenge shits. Look how stupid y'all was looking. Pull up waxes. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I definitely ain't got that dumb shit. <laughs> he shook his dead dress for the D. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Get on his knees, give head for the D. <laughs> yeah, right. No, no, a lot of this motherfuckers. <laughs> he pull out the gloves on the D. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, knock you the fuck out. <laughs> Go up and above on the D. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, so um, all right, so I, uh, so okay, let's start with the positive news. Please. Um, so the, I like negative first, always bad first. Well, it kind of ties into each other. Okay, okay. So um, okay, I'll give you the bad first. Always. Uh, Remy Ma was arrested because okay. she was in an altercation. This has been going on for a, a few weeks. Um. My thing is, and this is why I want to bring it up, because, it, like I said, it happened a while ago, mm-hmm. but she reportedly only had about three months left on her probation when she got into this situation with Brittany Taylor, who's from Love & Hip Hop as okay. well. Mm-hmm. Um, that shit is so fucking whack to me. It happened to me, too. It sucks. That happened to you no, before? No, I mean, I thank God, thank God almighty that uh, the day I got off, the very next day I got locked up again. Are you... You're thanking God that you got locked up again? The very next day after I got off probation. Oh, after you got off. As soon as I got off, the very next day I got locked up again. They said, boy, you so lucky. You weren't the luckiest man in the world. So I feel like usually people get in trouble when it's close to when they're about to be. Always. It's always, man. You never, the devil never going to let you just pass through the finish line and, and without nothing. Like you think he's going to let you pass through the finish line? Why he why he try to stop you in the first place if he's going to let right. you go breeze through? It's just sad to me because we already know she did what? Was it a eight or ten year bid? <laughs> she did a ten year bid. Without she, your baby, your she husband. She just had a baby. Yeah, the come baby's on. like what? Come four on. or five months old. Yeah. Um, and now she's my my thing with this is the Britney Taylor girl, you know, she's claiming she's bipolar and that she doesn't take her medicine because she can control it and all this stuff. But my thing is... I punch people in the face, too. So. This is but my problem. I, y'all know how I feel about damn Love & Hip Hop. I can't stand that shit. Oh, it's, this I, was a Love & Hip Hop thing? Well, they both are on Love & Hip Hop. Okay. Um, Brittany Taylor, I've, I've, she's been around me a few times. I've been around her. Um, forget all that. Watching her in the show and a little bit that I did watch... She was getting into a lot of altercations, a lot of fights, a lot of arguments. So it's weird to me that, like, people like that. When you do all of that and you get into fights, you hitting people, you doing stuff to people, now something got done to you, you calling the police. Corny, whack, clown, bullshitter, piece of shit. What's the saying? You Snitch. live by the gun, you die by the gun. Yeah, you got punched in the mouth. If yeah. you fight and you get punched, then you got punched. It's okay. It's your fighter, ain't you? You tough. You be talking all that tough guy shit. I don't care. Yo, right now, if somebody punched me in my face, I don't give a fuck who it is. I'm never going to tell. This is unless, crazy. Unless 
You got billions of dollars. <laughs> like unless that. you're Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, unless you, you know what I'm saying? You got some change and I could unless put my, you're Oprah. hold myself down with my peoples. But I still come fight you in a one on one after I take a couple of bucks, though. You know what I'm saying? It all depends on who you is. But if some dude just be like, yo, Wax, I want to square it with you, hell yeah, that's helping me practice and make sure my shit's sharp. And Let's rock. Now, if she said Remy pulled a gun out on her now, because we already know she really going to do it. Yeah, she right. Yeah. <laughs> she going to do it. So, now, if you I said that, corny, now that's a little scary. I, I think I think that's what she's doing, what I just now said. I think she's like, Remy got a couple of bucks. Let me go ahead and get her locked up. It looked better for me when I sue her. You know what I'm saying? Because she already she gonna have two. But then you on think her. about money, you about to take her whole freedom away. Yeah, she has, over what a petty are fight. You talking about that's what a whole, all this whole system shit is. We can't even police each other. We gotta go to the man to have them motherfucking take us away again. Fuck our whole shit up and need motherfuckers out here helping them out. But you know what's corny about this? That's what Mona Scott's supposed to be, and yes. that's why I don't fuck she's with that shit. She's supposed to be the fucking principal. Where's the principal at? She's supposed to make sure Remy. Don't never go back to jail. Always. But instead, you yes. get us to be Jay Z, Mona. Mm hmm. Be Jay Z. Instead of being Mona. Instead of being Mona, be yes. him. Yes. Because he helped Meek. He seen Meek was fucked up. And guess what? He ain't put it out there that he did. Mm -mm. We found out through the grapevine and however it found it got leaked. But like, Mona, you got these two girls that you making money off of. Mm hmm. One is Remy fucking Ma. Come on, get right. When she was locked up, everybody was is screaming free Remy. Now they trying to put her ass back in jail. It's whack. I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't get in the if middle of shit guy, like that. If you're a tough guy, if you're a tough guy, like right now, I'd be a fucking clown, bitch-ass motherfucking nigga. All the shit I'd be talking about. And I tell people, like, yo, if anybody want to challenge me, I don't mind, like, squaring up with somebody for a couple of seconds to see if you where your hand's at. But I'm talking all this shit. If somebody want to fuck with me, I rock with you. What I look like going to call the cops? And and also, let me just put, this is my problem with it, though. You're doing it. You're bringing the heat to you. Now, I can see if it was a girl like Sierra, right? Who's I don't Sierra? think Sierra, like the real. Who that? Russell Wilson's. Oh, fucking, Russell what, Wilson. The, wait. I'm saying if She's it was hot. a woman like Sierra and they were like, Remy punched her in the face, I'd be like, yeah, okay, like, call like the Curry cops. wife. <laughs> call, Curry cur wife. Call the cops. Come on, Remy. You know? we, both, we both be here like, Remy, yeah, come yeah, on. Remy, why you, You're going why to jail. You did that to her. You're going to jail. She ain't even about that life. Wax, well, call the cops. Why Remy did I that? I ain't calling the cops, but. Aisha Curry, nigga, that's like Susie Homemaker. Like, I, I tell T. Diddy to call. She's like hanging up on everybody. Yeah. <laughs> call the cops. No, nah, but I think that's the way it would be. Uh, sympathetic, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like peace. we, we would have sympathy. We understand why the cops was called. Exactly. She ain't about that life. In this case, come on, don't you. start no shit. Or it up. Won't be no shit. What's her name? Miss Grinder. Brittany Grinder. That's crazy. That was my third grade teacher name, Miss Grinder. How'd you know? What, what's this girl name? Taylor. Taylor. If Brittany Taylor. Brittany Taylor. Yeah. Well, Brittany Taylor, <laughs> you're full of shit. <laughs> Do all are all Taylor's full of shit or just Britney? <laughs> I know a couple of these motherfuckers. She leaning forward. Jesus. Is it a T Diddy Taylor? Oh, that's your name. That's your whole name. I thought it was fun size. Her whole T. name. Diddy. Don't call her no hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't want no problems over here. All right. Well, I'm already in enough trouble. Believe me. I see. We know who who the fucking rest of the call is going to be. Oh, I'm don't scared. you worry. We got another Jesus. one. Erica. Stop calling this name. <laughs> okay, um, so we're going to just turn that into a positive side. Please. Um, since we're talking about jails, New York City jail inmates can now make free phone calls. Dope. This is like a scam, though, for real. I mean, shout out to Bill de Blasio. Okay, whoever that is. The mayor of New York people. City. Come on. You should know who he is because he has a black wife and he's um, okay. white. Then that, that's what you. That's how you say it. That's like that's that's the, 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 no, check, the checkers. Out, the checkers. The checkers on the right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the guy with the white, with the black wife. Boom. The white mayor with the black wife. <laughs> that's oh, like, there you go. Him. This guy. <laughs> so um, he said, people in custody face barriers to basic aspects of everyday life that can help create more humane jails. These custodies are previously. Oh, there was previously being charged 50 cents for the first minute of the call and 5 cents per additional minute. Now the Department of Corrections will cover the cost for more than 25,000 calls. <sighs> so um, they'll be able to call anywhere in the United States for a total of 21 minutes. Nice. And this is every three nice. hours. Nice. 
So They roll over every three hours? That's great. Yeah, every three hours you can make a 21-minute call. That ain't bad. Will that, like, induce fights in the jail? Because there's only but so many phones now? That's what I'm saying. Hopefully they can start building up. All right, so now we got the phones. We got the conjugal visits. That's the you smash your wife. And we get the weed in there. Yo, fams. That's just a motherfucking other. That's that's a. That's just a great setup for more black single females. That's fucked up, right? Moms, single single moms with the dads in jail. That's just great, right? Fucked up. No, it's not. I'm just saying because you said the visit. A lot of guys they could get pregnant. Yeah. Right now, the dad is in jail making ten cents a meal. No, don't even give a fuck because now he got like a new little apartment. He can stay away. This shit is so dumb. This is. I don't think that we should make it so so comfortable. I do think the free calls <laughs> is great. I don't think it should be weed and oh, sex and bitches with, and hoes and drugs. And listen, if you're having conjugal liquor. visits already, and I know weed is in that motherfucker, just right now it's just a, a, a free apartment. Yeah, see, that's not what it should be because some people do belong in jail. There's murderers. Yes, there's it. I, I, I don't. I don't think they, they get conjugal visits. I don't get think they get the weed over there. I don't think they get. Like the shit that the other guys and shit over there get. I think. I don't think that they can say everybody gets weed except for the murderers. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, man. Y'all, y'all look dudes up in there who's uh, listening to Bully and the Beast. Send us some shit, man. Matter of fact, call up on one of y'all phones, man. Who? The guys in jail. They got no. phones. <laughs> no. No. They got to say what they call it from the Don't like, yeah. imprison yourself. Just be further. Like, yeah, yeah. Niggas gonna get an added two years on just for calling the fucking show. <laughs> Pulling the piece. Stupid ass. Where you at? Okay, so um, <laughs> a court just ruled that a former Bridgeport priest imp- um, who impregnated a teenager. A boy? <laughs> okay, I shut up. This is I shut fucking up. ridiculous. Okay. How many pregnant boys do you have? I don't know. <laughs> All right. I hate this nigga. Y'all can't make this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, a boy, Wax. It was a boy. <laughs> so he impregnated a teenage boy. <laughs> <laughs> they be wildin', man. <laughs> but he's still allowed to keep his job as a middle school teacher. No. No, he gotta go. Gotta go. So he had sexual relations with a 15-year-old girl. While he was working as a priest at St. Augustine Cathedral in Bridgeport back in 1988. Wow. So he's finally getting him right now. They, they tried him for it, but he's allowed to be a teacher still. So, but did he school. win the trial or did he? He must have lost. He, oh, he lost the trial. So, how is he able to be around kids again? Well, He's because he's look at the but complexion. How, but how old? But how old was he in nineteen eighty? What's the saying? He's the complexion for protection. protection. That's fucked what? up. You never heard that. But guess, but guess yeah. what? Guess what? Guess what? Look at that eye. What's wrong with his eye? The fucking sleepy eyes. The motherfuckers who are out here fucking everything up. The pedophiles and the killers and everything. Look at all those eyes. Remember every one of these guys who come up here, I say, look at the eye. He got something wrong with him. He just look like he ain't like a creepy eye ain't shit ass nigga. The eye ain't shit. The eye ain't <laughs> shit. What about yours? Because yours does that too. You're bugging. Look at my shit. <laughs> I'm early. And y'all shouldn't even be looking at my face. That but I'm is, early. You like cookie monster. If I, if I was like this, <laughs> if I was a, War- a Whitaker guy... You know what I'm saying? So what the fuck is wrong with Forrest Whitaker? He got his shit fixed now. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Is his eye up? (laughs) His shit looked the same. Look it up. Look it up right now. Forrest Whitaker got his eye fixed. That nigga looked the same. All right, so we're going to get into Savage News. Yeah. A man spills gravy on his laptop, and then he goes to Best Buy to get it fixed, and then gets arrested for child porn. (laughs) (laughs) The fuck? He couldn't even delete it because the gravy was on that motherfucker. <laughs> so that's what was fucked up because he was trying to delete that shit. But why would he bring it there? Like, what the fuck? Nigga, Chris Hansen was waiting for him at the door. <laughs> Did Chris Hansen die or something like that? Somebody told me Chris Hansen passed away or something like that. Nah. Or got locked up. Chris Hansen got locked up for... Um, something too, right? Yeah, so he. Fu- I think it is child porn. Yeah, I think that's yeah. what they <laughs> So... Oh, yeah, he of looked course. like he had child porn. Of course, of course. Then they beat him up in Best Buy. They beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> they was like, nigga, this your computer right here? Yeah. Come closer. 
But what the fuck would you even put in the fucking thing? I know you don't put child porn. No, I don't even want to fucking know. I mean, because a grown up is not fucking this horrid looking creature. So I guess he just has to look at kids because he's probably raping them with his nasty Yikes. ass. Yikes. And that's why he got his ass beat in jail. And he's going to keep getting his You want some candy? Beat. I got some candy for you. He ate want some all Dunkin' candy. Donuts? Look, look. What, what, what we got to comment again? Look in the fucking eye. <laughs> Yeah. Look at the fucking no, eye. I think that's because they beat him up, though. His oh, eye well, just happened. Whatever reason why your eye like that. Of course he was eating gravy over the, <laughs> <laughs> over the laptop. The motherfucking Nick, neck. Nigga was trying to eat the laptop. <laughs> All right, so Thomas Wells of Pennsylvania has been charged with two counts of abuse of a corpse and criminal mischief after he reportedly flushed his grandparents' ashes down the toilet. Why? He must have been high. Yep. Uh, All of this occurred after his mother kicked him out of her home after she confronted him about his drinking and marijuana habits. Who's on drugs? Police say that the man was staying with his mother for a small amount of time before he asked, she asked him to leave. And this is the result of it. So I guess he was so mad, he flushed his grandparents down the toilet. That's wild. This is, what do you think he was? I think he was white. For sure. I bet you got a sleepy eye again. Oh, it looks like he's on the mountain. Is he wax? Or you? <laughs> Says a man, so it's definitely not you or uh, me. Or it uh, yeah. might be you. I'm not a man, thanks. Well, shit. No picture? All oh, right. well. All right. Fuck him, um, yeah, who gives a fuck? Let's you get to the good shit. part of the show. Black excellence. Yeah. Okay. Some dope shit. So Rodney King's daughter mm-hmm. is working to keep her father's name alive through scholarship. Of course, like she's supposed to. So the goal of the scholarship is to help black fathers in financial need bond with their children. Dope. So her name is, it's Laura, right? Laura King says it's important for her father to have a, for fathers to have a relationship. Oh, it was important for her father to have a relationship with her. And she wants to make sure others have the same opportunity. Mm-hmm. The first scholarship will be handed out on, guess what day? Father's Day. Father's Day. Oh, wax birthday. I accept. No. Huh. No. Is it checks? No. It's a scholarship. It's checks, right? A what? scholarship is a check. Anyway. Oprah Win- Oprah Winfrey. Oprah, what up, baby? Which ho- with her rich ass. <laughs> you know Why are we even talking about this motherfucker? <laughs> like she good, ain't she? <laughs> that, is that the story? Is she oh, I know she ain't getting a check, a scholarship. <laughs> she got all the checks and scholarships. She got the school. Yeah. So she took one of her former students' wedding dress shopping huh. as she prepares to enter her next chapter in life. So mm-hmm. Oprah, she better do more than just a wedding dress. Oprah, you can afford the whole wedding. Listen, she's not even going to pay for it. They're going to just give the shit to Oprah. Oprah come in and like, I, I want that, I want that, and I'm going to get all this the rest of stuff for wax. No, I don't think so. So Oprah shared her experience with her followers on social mm-hmm. media. She said, I've grown to know these... Oh, so it's more than one girl. Sorry, it's girls. Uh-huh. I've grown to know these girls since they were 12, coming into my school, graduating from college, grad school, and now our first wedding. She said, R, like it's hers. Mm-hmm. It is hers, too. It is. It is her first she one. She's paying for the shit. It's yeah, no, it's her first one because she never had one. No? No. Stepman and Harry married. Step, uh, she's married Gail. Yeah, duh. But we're not supposed to know. Oops. I'm okay. sorry, Oprah. Our secret's supposed to be safe. <laughs> So the young women pictured with Oprah, which Taylor is going to show y'all, are graduates from her school, the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls. It's located in South Africa. Um, So according to the Daily Mail, Oprah reportedly shut down Saks Fifth Avenue in Beverly Hills to make sure that the perfect dresses were given to these girls. Look at Oprah. Where's she at? Of course she's shutting down Let me see my motherfucking future wife. Come on. Oprah got enough money to build the sacks for them to go shopping in and shut it down when they leave. She got enough money to build me, too. Please build this nigga. Come on, Oprah. If I could build the nigga, Justine Sky Voice. Okay. So, Black Boy Joy. Who that? According to um, Industry on Blast. Who is that? Industry Unlocked. What's the name of their their site again? Industry Unlocked, right? Okay, sorry. No, it's the Shade Room. (laughs) Ha ha. (laughs) It's <laughs> none of them. Okay, shout out to the shade room. But yep. um, a Houston teen is the first black valed- valedictorian in his high school in 119 year school history. What's a valedictorian? The one that gets the highest GPA. <laughs> That's what that shit is. That's why I never know the fuck. I got a 0.6 GPA in fucking high school. <laughs> of course you did. 
So, um, yeah, shout out to him. Go, good job, fam. You're just what was your GPA? Zero point six GPA in high school. Yeah, that makes sense. That was just enough to pass me and get me out of the school. I don't even think that's enough to pass. They just felt bad and didn't want you to come back. No, no, I played ball and stuff like that. This is just enough to get me out of yeah, here. Yeah, they didn't want you to they, come they back. Because they been gave up on me. It's kind of fucked up. Even when I talk to kids and shit like that, I tell them, don't be like me. You know what I'm saying? Be Please better don't. than me. Yes, thousand percent. Definitely be better than me. Okay, so um, let's get into who's on drugs. Yes, let's do that. Um, tell them the number then, nigga. Yo, it's 347 679 I feel like I got to do everything here. What are you talking about? <laughs> Who's on drugs? Yeah. Oh, we didn't give a topic, huh? What would you do if your your, your girl was masturbating to her ex? If you caught your girl masturbating to a picture of her ex. Ooh. <clears throat> oh, man. I, I, I probably would be upset. Especially if I got to argue with you and shit now. Like, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? You going to make me argue with you and you going to sit there and get off with this nigga? Nah. Now, if you argue with this dude, you can do the fuck whatever the fuck you want to do. I don't think I've ever like looked at a picture and been able to just be like, "Oh yeah." This Not a picture. I, yeah, I need. I need a because even when the fucking porn start Ooh. buffering. What? What if it's a vi- old video of them? <laughs> <laughs> What if it's an old video? Or even like him jerking off his dick or some shit. Unbelievable. But she never cheated. Like, But she, can she kill you? <laughs> can you kill her? Can she kill no, you? you can can't y'all do kill each other? Yikes. Because if I walked in on my boyfriend... You're like, yeah, what are you watching? He's like, oh, shit, get my phone back. Jerking his dick to like a video of like a bitch I know he used to fuck with. I'm not even gonna. I'm like, I might gotta leave that nigga for real right then Come and there. On, what you you have to leave him because but like you can't get mad at what this man get off of because all type of different fantasies is like you can't get mad off what people nut off. But damn, it's like, what you want that bitch? You don't know. It don't matter. He, maybe not. I don't. I don't want the motherfucking the fucking landlord lady that be coming in and making me pay for rent. You know what I'm saying? I can't do it, but I probably jerk off and I'm like the landlord lady and I probably nut right there. No. I don't know. I'm just talking. <laughs> I think even fantasizing about somebody else while you're fucking is low key cheating. No, well, that's, that's, I definitely. You, you know what do I'm that all come the on. time? Come on. Come on. Let me tell you, I fuck Rihanna when I was fucking somebody else. <laughs> See, I don't know. I think if a guy be like, like I told you that my ex had a hat that said, I want to fuck Rihanna. Yeah. Hi. And I was like, my nigga, like, yeah, I'm yeah. actually somebody. You can't just be wearing a hat like that. It's all good, man. I mean, I get it. A lot of niggas want to fuck Rihanna, but like, what if I'm now cool with Rihanna and she know my nigga want to fuck her? Hey, man, you got to know that shit, baby. Nah, that don't feel so then, good. Then don't be friends with her. I mean, you are okay with your girlfriends wanting to fuck your friends. I'm no, not. No, no, I'm not. You I don't say think you that's know cool. who you're dealing with. Listen, I know who I'm dealing with, so I won't, make, I, I, I won't make her wifey. I'd be like, listen, I'm not going to stop fucking with you. I'm just going to put you in a certain box. You know what I'm saying? That shit is just weird to me. If a nigga is talking to me about Angela, and he's just like, oh, Angela's so funny, and Angela this, and Angela's so pretty. And Angela, I'd be like, nigga, you want her number? Or yeah, you want me to hook y'all stop up? Stop being corny. No, not like that. But if if it's like he's like, she's so pretty, I would love so to have sex with her. So you're going to stop what you want in your life. Because this guy likes somebody is else. Showing interest and in saying he would love to have sex with my friend. Like, say he was like, she's so pretty. I would just love one night to have sex with her. But, I'll be like, what? Like, but, nigga, but never. Probably, but, but he probably thinks that in his head. You know what I mean? Your friends want to fuck Angela too? No. All your dudes want to fuck her too? No. All of them? The guys that we don't even. The same kind of guys are not the same kind of. Yes, we going to fuck your friends. No. Mm-mm. If we going to fuck you, we're going to fuck your friends. And oh, he's not telling you. You want to appreciate the guy who tell you. But we got somebody on the line? No, you shouldn't fuck with a nigga that would want to fuck your friend. <laughs> I, see, I wouldn't fuck with a nigga like you. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the that's The next just nigga that you don't fuck with like me is going to want to fuck your friends. Why too. do you think that all niggas is just fucking bitches and they friends? No, I didn't like, say everybody they, I, I didn't is not say like they, that. They're going to. Or even want to. For sure. I've never looked at my dude's any of his friends and was like, God. I want to... Thank God for you. So everybody can't is not like that? Like... I know... Yo, do you think you're, you're one of your dudes want to fuck your friend too? Or if they had the opportunity? I didn't say that one of them might not want to fuck me. One of his friends. That's what I'm trying but to I'm say. But I'm saying I would never do that. You don't think none of Angela dudes want to fuck you too? No. This is shit. I don't All think right. that is... The- 
shit. I don't think it's that. No. <laughs> Do we have to call her? Because that's nasty. Why is it thought, nasty? Because it is. Y'all friends. Y'all not sisters. Niggas is doing that to you, trying to talk to you behind your friend. My friend's boyfriend wanted to fuck. For sure, See, but I, and no, no disrespect to you, but I feel like that shows what the guy thinks about you, because he think that no, and like I said, no yeah. disrespect, but I feel like if a guy feels like he can we try don't. you, and you know that that's your friend, like that's some weird shit. Like he don't have no respect for nothing, nobody, the girl, you, him. Oh, threesome is different if this is an agreement. All right. Well, can you, do you, T. Diddy. T. Diddy, do your mic work? <laughs> T. Diddy got a story to tell, y'all. Come on, let's doom, go. Doom, 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 doom. So my go, friend, baby. he wanted, or her ex, yeah, her ex wanted to have a threesome with me and her and him, whatever. And she because, asked you. No, no, no. She didn't ask me. She didn't want any of that shit. Yeah, but she because did because she, she threw it out no, there. No, no, no. Because she's bi, whatever. And she was telling how she had threesomes before and he wanted just a threesome. Like, yeah, so. and she was throwing it out there to see if you was going to catch the bait. You but you so? didn't. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Get out of here. Nope. Duh. 100% sure. Duh. She was like, well, you know, um, guess what, girl? This guy was Michael a called me today. And Michael was talking about how, like, me, you, and him should go out. Not even. He, she <laughs> even hit it like that. She was like, you know how good I eat pussy. He just wanted me to try it on somebody. Yeah, he was just saying, like, <laughs> you know, I, you know I I'm pussy good. so good. Exactly. And that, like, I'm, like, the best head that I ever gave him in his life. He just figured, like it would be nice if you joined us, or one or one of my friends, not just you, like not just one you, of my but friends. But he always said you were pretty. Yeah, I don't know why he would even pick you in it, girl. You don't you don't have to say yes now, but if you just want to think about it, I don't even it, know why he would think we were like that. Yeah, I would never do nothing with you. What do you think? You know we ain't never done nothing like that. We before. did kiss that one time though, except for that one time when we was at. Cancun. You did look. You did look cute when you was in that beta suit. That's how we went on in summer Cancun? break. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Did y'all fuck or not, Taylor? Fuck no. Oh. So no, no threesomes for you? Well, let's get this call. Let's okay. see what they talk we about. Didn't, for, we didn't change the topic. Early. Okay, so we want to know if you caught the person you're dating masturbating to a video or a picture or of a picture. their ex. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? What's what the next move? Who's on drugs? Who's on drugs? Who's on drugs? Who? Yo, who's on drugs? Yo. Yo. Where's Boogie? Yo. You black motherfucker. Yeah, what's up, like bully? That. Yo, what's good with you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't shit, man. I thought about, I was just about to uh, masturbate, man. If I change my damn mind, I'm taking it as a sign. Oh, Appreciate my you. God. Are you going to use <laughs> a look, picture of your ex? <laughs> But listen, since y'all, since y'all, uh, look, I called my girl, I seen some shit on the phone, I ain't even telling, I started jacking off in the ear, and she started going to the hospital saying that she had discharge in the ear. Doctor, she's like, hey, they can't find no signs or nothing, no medical reason, but then one time I fucked up because I started switching the ears, or I went to the other ear. <laughs> what? Bro, what? Wait, 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 Hold so on. you jerk off in her ear? It looked like dried up. Listen, cuz, and I pee on her in the shower, because she don't know. She, I pee on her in the, on the shower, we take a shower, I pee on her because the water. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it blends in. I just, I just plank her. To me, it's disgusting. But why are you peeing on your girl? And put X-Lax. Because niggas is nasty. That's how I get her back. Oh, oh, so it's how she can't feel it. Because he sees something in, the in her phone. In the shower. So oh, okay. In her back. Okay. Pee on her in the shower. Okay. But listen, listen, this is the question. I don't mean to go off topic. I don't want to get off topic no, and no, shit. Go I'm going to have quit shit in the food. But listen. But listen, you know how like you 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 marry, you know what I'm saying? You grow into your mama come and bring your old shoebox with all your your love notes and shit when you was a little kid, right. yeah. old school IDs and shit. So I'm looking through my shit now, but I see, oh man, some you know I was getting naked pictures from the girl back then. There wasn't no phones like that. I mean, we had the little the sun con right. and the <laughs> and the little the little singular shit, yeah. But the it, it's sun con and we did it. Remember that bullshit? But the, I had uh, so she, she had pictures, the old Polaroid pictures, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, this is. So I thought it was from I was like sixteen and she was fifteen. That's a picture. So as I look at this as a grown man, now, yeah, is you it can't still have this picture, p- picture, nigga. Yes, no. <laughs> but, what is going but, on with you? But listen, no, you got no. Listen, jail. listen. It ain't like the Taylor called you. It ain't like the bitch stop going. 
Yeah. You just go and she took that picture. That bitch. That's that 15 year old girl. You looking at right there when that when that picture is still that's the same person in that picture right there as a 15 year old girl. Go 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 um. And your mother oh, needs to go flush to jail yourself, too. Go flush yourself down the toilet. Your mother looked at that shit and she you knew it are, was in there. You are shit. Oh, Go man, flush yourself down a dollar, brother. Damn, man. He's going to jail. Yeah. Man, I got to get rid of all my hard killers. What's this guy's name? Oh, no. <laughs> What's your name again? And where you huh? live? <laughs> my, uh, my name is Farvin. And, uh, I'm, my name, I'm Johnny Cam, man. Uh, we sending I'm out authority. here in the metro, man. <laughs> we sending that to right Columbia, now. Columbia, South Carolina. Columbia, South Carolina. Johnny Cam. Listen, tell, but, uh, tell, tell hey, us. One more else. thing. Take tell this out. One more thing. Go ahead. Hey, look, 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 look. All right, because, cause look, I'm walking by. It almost happened to me, man, but uh, I got away with the shit, but I ain't going to specify nothing else. So if you walk by a pool, you see somebody drowning, they got a life preserver right there. All you got to do is just throw it to them. They, you know what I'm saying? They about to drown. All you got to do is throw in the life preserver. But you you walk away and the motherfucker die. Are you a murderer? Yes, because you yes. can swim and you can help them. Duh. <laughs> Oh, you a piece of shit. Yo, you oh, murdered. Really Yo, this bro. nigga is a murdering child pornography piece watching. Of shit. Yo, go to Nashville and get this nigga, wherever he is. Trace this call. <laughs> Yo, look, look, I got this, You know this phone is stolen like a motherfucker. Everything I got is stolen, man. Don't worry about it. You good. This nigga is coming. I was born out the asshole. Yo, yo, I know I you got to rap. Do, do, My you, mama. Do, do you know how to rap? Man, man, I could do anything I could do. In the world. What you want to talk about? What you want? Let's spit something. Spit something real quick. I said, I said, uh, I kept tell the girls this. If you want some advice, you don't get spice in your sex life. That's a good way to turn it to your ex-wife. Let's like, see you in the next life. I know it might sound absurd. I stick a dick in the ear. Like, fuck what you heard. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just make that up? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yo, where am I? Was I was born out the asshole, man. I, I was breastfed. Listen, I was breastfed that I was six years old. He's that wasn't my milk. Asshole. I shouldn't have to remember that shit. I shouldn't have to remember that shit. And my mama fucked Don Cornelius. My mama fucked Don Cornelius, man. My mama was the mistress. My mama was the mistress, man. My mama squeezed three black kids out that white motherfucker. Are you are you faithful yeah. now? You say what your you mother mean, was the mistress. What? Are you are you faithful? <laughs> Man, I was born out the asshole. What do you think? No. If you were the girl, every what you say, wax every ten years, every ten years, the girl's gonna cheat on. How many, how many, how many meets she gonna think she's gonna step out? About two years, meets every ten year. years. No, I say a girl <laughs> have two meets a year. I say that's twenty meets in ten years. Two. So listen, this is the solution. You gotta break up with her every five months. You get back with her. <laughs> yeah, that's why. This yeah, is a bullshit. Every five months, and start it over. Listen, yeah, because then she's gonna be fucking niggas um, in between then, that on your I ass. don't mind. That's what I'm saying. Then she ain't with us. It don't matter. That's why it's like starting right. all back over. And then that's, right. I can deal with it like that. Yeah, I can deal with that. Listen, shit. nice guys finish last. Nice guys finish last, dog. That shit is worth the big bird. It's just, it's just a sucker. Like one of the key lines in that new song I wrote, Wax, was that uh, I said, uh, I said, uh, be, I said, uh, be nice. I said no. I said hang up on her. She call you back twenty five times. Be nice. She put you on hold and forget you on the other line. On some real shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's Anytime just nice guys finish last, bro. I hang right the fuck out. <laughs> That's like my escape plan. I'll be like, please tell me the whole thing. Racist. Up. See, Somebody you a bully, called. man. You gotta stop bullying, man. <laughs> she can't help it. Believe me, bro. Hey, but I ain't gonna hold y'all. I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. Get some more, get some more folks, but I'm gonna call back, man. I'm about to go. Out. Hey, I ain't, I ain't gonna uh, do what I started to do when, I, when you call, man. So. Yeah, look outside. The cops are there. I'm about to see a movie. <laughs> Let me tell back, though. Bless. Uh, they, just, they just pulled up. Bless. Be peace, safe. peace. Peace. Go to your new apartment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your new free apartment with weed, conjugal visits. Your yeah, conjugal visits. And what else? Weed, and, uh, what was it? Uh, what else do people want? Free jail call. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't laughing at y'all niggas. You know no, we, we not. Just, but you just, just saying free apartment. I'm just saying that's they, they about to turn this shit into free apartment. Niggas ain't gonna care to go to jail. They're like, well, shit. I'm, if, if I could, if I don't make it out here with all these pounds of weed or coke or whatever the fuck I'm doing, I can still go in there. Only thing I'm gonna do is go in there and still be able to smoke weed, get bitch, get pussy, and and get my rent paid. Shit, three hots in a cot. The fuck is. 
What's wrong with that? Uh, you're in jail. That's what's wrong with Oh, uh, you in the projects. Yeah. You in jail. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Same shit, shit. You in school. You in jail. Yeah. I was driving past, the, you know, the New York City schools. Well, that's really everywhere. They got the gate around the playground. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then all the kids was holding on to the gate I and trying to shit. talk to the people. Yeah, they they do it to me on, when yeah. I walk my dog. They be holding on to the gate yeah, like, yeah. I was one help of bad me. Kids. I'm like, yo, that's jail. It looked like the yard. I was, I was one of badass kids. Yeah, you're still one of them. Yeah. All right, Kelly, we've got another call. Yo, who's on drugs? Oh, shit, I'm in it. Word. What's going on? Yeah, single father. I'm over here cooking dinner for my daughter. Oh, blessing, yes, that's, that's, that's what I'm blessing, talking about. That's a blessing, my brother. That's a blessing. What you cooking? Yeah. Oh, just a little bit of steak. A little steak and burritos. Okay, yeah, yeah we just got to get you off of the meat. But um, other than that, okay. Uh, <laughs> you wax chicken. <laughs> I live with white people. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, you got to eat meat. Um, Clean it though. <laughs> Clean it though. Yeah, wash that what meat is- off, cause you know they, the white people tell you you ain't got to wash the meat off. Yeah, you wash it. But you have to, okay? <laughs> no, 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 no. I cook, I cook my own shit. Okay. Yeah, early. So, um, do you need any advice, or you want to weigh into this topic? Talk to us. What is the topic? Okay, so we want to know. If you're dating somebody and you walk in on them masturbating to an old video or picture of the ex or them and their ex, mm-hmm. what would you do? Uh, actually, I don't know what I would do, but I know what my baby mother did when she seen that happen to me. Oh, tell us. Because <laughs> I did that shit. Really? So you were, you were oh. masturbating to like a video? Yeah, it was an old video of, like, me and her and someone else. <laughs> oh, oh, three of y'all. Oh, shit. She can't be oh, mad at that. She can't get mad at that. Just, just say that you you missed her and she she was performing so well in that, in that act that you wanted to see her and how she performed. That's all. But she was mad because she did something. So what well, did she do? What did she do? Uh, let's just say frying pans were involved. Nice. And I had to get out the house. Traditional shit. Oh, my god. Once she go towards the kitchen, you run. But she was in the video, so I don't understand when why. When she, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Does she bro. not know there was a video? All right, here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. When it happened, we weren't together because we were friends before we started dating. So, so she we did all that, that wild video. shit. So she didn't know you was nah. she was being She didn't paid. know you had that shit. Nah, pretty much. <laughs> okay. So that's what the plot thickens. You got to tell us stuff like that, Yeah, man. that's important. Yeah, yeah that's very important. Because <laughs> at first I'm like, is she crazy? She, might... she yeah. posed. Yeah, like, come on. <laughs> say say, all, say I like to her. First of all, first of all, my baby mama, psycho. I love her to death. We have a great relationship. Like, we got one of those. God bless. I don't go through child support. I don't go through none of that God shit. God bless like, that. We have a system. Dope. I only live a town away from her. I get my daughter every weekend. It's never an issue. Dope. That's dope. Like, dope. That's so dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, after all, all the shit I'm explaining to you is like years ago. Like, that's mm-hmm. just that. Right now, we good. This is just her back then. That's a blessing. Right, right, we together for like she caught six, your seven ass. Years. Yeah. Did you get the come yeah, or she came much. before you she came before you came? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I don't even remember to keep it a bean. I was on drugs. So. Okay. Okay, oh, well, know. perfect segment. Definitely was on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Are you but dating I'm, now? I'm, I'm happy you came out alive. Nah, that's a fact. Oh, wait, before y'all say anything, you're wax, I want to tell you. I don't care what anybody say. You are a brilliant man. Uh, I know you brother. may come off dumb sometimes, but you are a very brilliant man. I know. Thank you, my Keep brother. it strong, blood brother. Brilliant and L'Oreal, you are a beautiful queen. Thank, Thank you. you. Queen. I can't be doing this. Don't let, don't let these niggas get to you. You got your shit going. I see you, girl. Thank you. So I, are you in a relationship oh, now? No, the only relationship is the little girl hounding me right now. Hey, baby, what's wrong? So when you decide to introduce your daughter to somebody, how long are you going to wait? I don't. I don't. Never. I won't. I have have an agreement with my baby mother. We are not to bring her around anybody we're dating until it's serious. Very serious. It's the person that we're actually going to be with for a while. I love that. And as long as, as long as, you know, I probably, I do it off the strength that I respect that she's going to do it. And if she doesn't do that, then fuck that bitch. But that's our, uh, that's our thing we got. Man, that, that's I think very that's strong. Respectful. Very I, strong. I appreciate that. I don't that's like good. when people bring a lot of different women in and out of their child life cool. or a lot of different men. It's, and I get it. If it's, um, 
if it's someone you thought you were going to be in a relationship with and mm-hmm. it didn't work out, Respect. then that's one Peace. thing. After you know? a year or something like yeah, that. Yeah, or even yeah. like, it doesn't have to be. Some people... Six months. Yeah, yeah with their like with their circumstances, they can't take six months. They might have to be with their kids a little more and then they got to involve the both. Yeah, but I think you have to make 110% sure that yes. this person is good enough yes. to be around your child mm-hmm. and um, don't just be bringing different men and women in and out there. Or life. if you get pregnant early. It's confusing. I'm saying y'all, y'all, have, sex and, <laughs> y'all have sex and you go ahead and get pregnant. Nah, you can do that. it. Yeah, I, I think with that. it gets so confusing. I, for the I'm child. young. I'm only 26, so okay. I'm good. Young. I'm 26. I got, you know, I got a good thing ahead of me. I told myself I got three years to get my house, get my baby mother a house for her and my daughter and get my whole business going and all that stuff I got going on. Look out soon in the next, like, six months. As soon as I link up with my uncle, we got a podcast coming out. It's my uncle, but it's called Two Brothers because we grew up together like brothers. Like, you hear us talk, you'll see the dynamic is nuts. He's the tall, younger nigga, and I'm the short, bigger nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. All right, well, thank you for calling. Appreciate you, my brother. No problem, man. Yo, y'all keep it up, man. The In The Beast podcast, y'all shit is lit and wax. Please, for the love of God, put a little bit of more weed in your blunt, bro. Thank <laughs> you. You're making us look bad. <laughs> thank You're making you. us look bad. I, I got you back. For a long time. I got you back. More. Just a little bit Fucking more. Fucking ridiculous. Stay <laughs> on your body, man. Stay on you. your body, bro. And, <laughs> Early. It's Diddy. I love you, Cindy Hart, you beautiful queen. <laughs> this guy. Oh, he's nice. I like I, him. I think this guy was Wax, you should teeth. take some notes. You be a positive I'm black really, man. Listen, I'm a really positive black man. I got no, a lot of not. positive things going what? on. I'm a real good guy. You don't say anything I can't believe, nice I can't to just, women. I, do, I don't call y'all queens. I don't say no. you know, all this nice stuff to y'all. No. You be like, ew, nasty. You like Taylor. Because, you like Mario. Because Disgusting. Y'all, I be thinking about they be wanting to think about nasty stuff, and I'm like, like why? That don't sound like queen. You sound like a queen hating on us. <laughs> 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 the fuck is wrong with you? All right, um, we got let's more get drugs? to another caller. Yeah, more drugs. More drugs. Who's on drugs? Hello? Hello. Hey. Yo. Hi. Hey. How, is this Erica? No, chill out. Mm. No. No? Damn it. Who's this? <laughs> Did you fuck wax? This is Izzy. Stop. Hey, Izzy. No, fuck no. Okay, thank Jesus. God. Jesus, everybody gonna stop doing that fuck no shit. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a human being over so wait, here. Is there a topic? Yes, yes, there is. So you don't obviously you don't need no advice. So what would you do if you came into the crib <laughs> and your boyfriend was in the room jerking off to an old video of him and another girl or his ex? An ex. Sorry. Um. Well, for sure, smack the shit out of him. <laughs> That's not cool. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I would want to be with him. Period. After that. Right, yeah, that's, that's not weird. Cool. Like we told you, would already have videos, me and him. So what are you doing watching another girl? Yeah. And what if he says to you, "But look, you could go through my entire phone. I never cheated on you. I never did anything else. This is the worst thing I ever done. Yeah. I'm sorry, and I'll delete the videos." He still gotta get okay, smacked but though. First, let me watch one. Let oh. me watch a video with me and my ex. Ooh, oh, oh, that's okay. corny. I You're corny. She said, "Let me watch a video." I'm about to say, "Whoa!" But she's corny though. Like a <laughs> no, no, girl trying to get back at us. It's so whack, yo. You think that because your feelings are gonna be hurt, you gonna yes, be crying like a little Yes, we can't bitch. handle that shit. What, well, you, what don't the fuck dish you it. think? Right. Why, why so you why think? Why can you do it to us? Yeah, don't dish it. Listen, because y'all, y'all, y'all stronger than us. Don't you? Why you think God made, gave y'all periods so y'all could always go through a pain every month so y'all could be used to the pain he gave that y'all, he know that y'all gonna, well, gonna you give guys y'all. Already the pain in our ass, right? And he you gave y'all blue balls. Well. We got red, y'all got blue. So, uh, ouch. <laughs> yeah, got him, nigga, again. Good so, on. so what's Wait, up? Wait, hold on. Both of you guys, I love your laugh. Your laugh is everything. <laughs> that shit makes me laugh every time. It's his is weird. Whatever. He sounds like a little fat, weird, goofy kid. <laughs> right? Yeah, whatever. Like a cartoon, like the you round, like fat cartoon kinda. characters. I don't know. I'll yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, he's a weirdo. Yeah. But do you have, so you have videos of you and your exes in your phone? I don't, not no more. I don't. So you delete them after the relationship or when do you decide to delete them? Uh, maybe when I know that the next relationship is serious. <laughs> yeah, like I'm about to get rid of these shits. 
Did anybody yeah, ever send it to you? Me. Like, an ex ever send it to you? Like, hey, thinking about you, boom. You sucking his dick. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was shook because I forgot that he had that. See, I knew, Ouch. yeah. Ouch. That's why I don't fuck with the picture and video thing. Because oh. all it is is when y'all not fucking with each other no more, that's blackmail. That's corny. I never do that corny ass Niggas shit. do it. That's corny. Look at how many bitches got exposed through revenge porn. And that's why that's a law. Yeah, that's corny. Because so many niggas do that shit. That's whack. That's something that y'all had, though. Like that's, Niggas yeah. do that the most. Niggas do that the most. Right, and niggas also trade pictures to each other Period with yeah, naked girls, yeah, videos, probably, pictures. Probably no faces, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you probably be a little ass or something like that. My boys would probably show me or whatever, try, try to show me that they get pussy too, because they be hearing the show, like, oh, why don't you kind of get some pussy or something? How do y'all decipher who you're going to show? Um, I show these motherfuckers all the time. No, 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 no. no. I don't mean the person you're going to show, the person who's naked that you're showing. Oh, nobody that you like. <laughs> Nobody you like, right? It can't yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. And I always say, you know what? I don't know who I'm going to marry one day. I'm like, I hope I never show nobody my wifey wife. My wife I'm going to actually marry. You know what I'm saying? I don't even like to talk. If it's somebody that I think I'm going to marry, I won't talk about sex with them with nobody. That's I don't smart. give a fuck. Smart. Niggas that be like, who you fucking? My, nobody. Some little dick nigga. No, I won't even say nothing. <laughs> I'm not fucking. Like, I will dead like, Like, because the worst thing you want to do is talk about your husband to your friends. Yeah. And they know if his and dick gonna is good fantasize, or bad. And they're going to fantasize about this man when he walk into the door. And they're going to try to look at his print all the time. And they're going to be like, he, walk, he got a big dick. She said he be busting yep, her yep. ass. And they're going to be fantasizing about that shit. Like, hey, Robert. Mm-hmm, you know? Robert. <laughs> hey, Robert. I heard about you. You be like, what are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I fuck one of them bitches out. You got me fucked yeah, They fucking drinking. They telling everything. You know how girls is. They I start know. drinking. You drunk start words drinking. and so. Oh shit. my God! You do. That's why, I like, I don't like to be with somebody I'm real close to, and I start drinking because then I really will be comfortable and be like, tell them everything. Man, this fucking whack ass bitch. <laughs> like, this oh. nigga been nothing early all more month. <laughs> this whack ass nigga. This dick ain't the same as when we first got together. <laughs> I know you felt like that before, girl. No? Of like, course. you fucked the nigga before. <laughs> you gonna say, of course. I hate whack. Huh? So. He's crazy. I want, I want, I'm talking to you. He's talking about, of course, girl. <laughs> I want to know if, like, you ever Shut fuck up. somebody and, like, the dick be mad good, but then you go to fucking fuck him again, and it's like, is this the same dick? Like, did it, <laughs> did it get, was I drunk when I had it the first time? Because this shit is whack now. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? Yeah, I was whack, but, yeah, I was whack, but I knew I was whack. It wasn't like, me. He just, some what? <laughs> Sometimes he would just like he would he wouldn't get up like that. Like it was weird. Like he was slanted, so being slanted, it was better. It was weird for me. I never had that before. So that's how you hit, that's how you hit the G spot. Yes, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. He made you square. But then after, yeah. But then after, for sure he did. See, yeah. But only one time. Only one time. So oh. then after that, nope, not again. Mm-hmm. Well, Wax is trying to claim that it's him. No, I didn't say it's me. I just said no. she just kind of described, like, what she say? I thought she said Wax. She did. That's what you do? Whack. That's how your dick looks? Whack, Wax. Oh, Wax. Oh, she said Wax. Yeah. I thought she said Wax. He always says that he has a slanted sideways dick. It got broke when I was young. And he never fixed it. <laughs> like Owen Wilson's nose, so the shit is just still crooked. Like Forrest Whitaker eye. <laughs> no, it got fixed. <laughs> My shit never got fixed. I don't know how to fix it. Well, stop putting it in things, and maybe it won't be broken. I don't know what the fuck. I don't even know why girls even want to fucking fuck me. And I'm like, my shit is slanted to the side. What the fuck do you want? Let's How much would we have to pay you to fuck wax? No, we out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> they have a great day, ma'am. Nobody's fucking wax. I'd never do it. Thank you. Uh, well, listen. Yeah. Listen, you must don't like money. I can't believe bitches really giving you pussy <laughs> out here. I can't believe guys actually smashing you. No, nah, it's totally different. Like, as soon as you pull your pants down. I'm like, like, yeah. can, can we see? I want to see a girl like you're fucking, though. I want to see what she looks like. Then maybe we can believe it. White. Yeah. Heavy set. Yeah. Something like that. (laughs) All nasty. Smell like baloney. All ugly. I only like ugly girls. I told you. I only smash girls that... I'm not going to like so I can end up having, because I got to have a sane mind. He if likes I like old you, women, too. Listen, I like girls that I know I'm not going to be in a relationship with. I'm not going to smash you if I like you, and I'm, then I'm also marry you. He has a uh, coalition, rainbow coalition. I like, don't know he what likes, that mean. I know you don't. 
he has like a whole different variety and flavors and sizes, and he just likes to fuck girls. So it doesn't I, matter. Exactly. If ugly. I want to fuck. I don't want to get married right now, so I don't have sex with nobody I like. He likes ugly girls. Yes, if I like, if you're beautiful, pretty girls uh, too. He nah, just will fuck anything. Nah, that's not true. I like girls that I just don't like. He'll fuck anything. But okay, <laughs> thank you for calling. Thank you, ma'am. Don't thank fuck you. Wax. Yes, ma'am. I won't have a good day. Perfect. Plus, see, I like that. She what she won't fuck advice. wax? Yeah. <laughs> she, she follows advice. Okay. Um. We got more drugs. Let's get another caller. Who's on drugs? More drugs. Hello? Yeah. I thought this was Erica. Shut up. Hello? Yo, my Erica? brother. No, this ain't no Erica. What's up, my brother? Fucking T. Yo, Diddy told on? me this was Erica. Oh, blessings, my brother. How you doing? <laughs> where you where you calling from? Yo, I'm good. What's up with you? What's up, Wack? What's good? What's up, where you, where you, call, you? Where you calling from? Calling from Stockton, California, man. We out here, peace on the West Coast. Blessings, my brother. Blessings. Oh yeah, we like the West Coast. Early. Send us some weed. Early. We'll send Wax some because he ain't never yeah, I got, got it. You. I got. You. I'm over <laughs> here rolling up sticks. Oh, that's good. Huh? I'm over here rolling up sticks. So I need that. <laughs> I had to throw one at his ass Yo, earlier. Throw them sticks and seeds away, man. Get you some good weed, man. I, I need... That's like that's like essential to what y'all trying to do out here, fam. Get rid of them sticks and seeds. I just feel y'all send us through. So how loud us? He's embarrassing me. Like I just, man. I don't even know. I don't know what to Yo, do. Yo, why you be, why you be wilding on wax like that? Do man? you see real, what wild. I deal with? She ain't got to do me like that, though, right? But, but he peace on everything, everything you say. After that, he say peace. How can you wild the fuck out somebody girl. like that? Yes, I did. Why are you lying? Why is he trying to get me to give him a half of a piece of a roach? I don't want to. I said, let's it's blow. It's in the bottom of the thing. Go get oh, it. I smoke. That's, that's the best part of it, though. Early. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's why all the fucking... The, the <laughs> We're not even allowed to up. smoke in here. He's trying to make me break the why law. Why are you trying to be all call corny cops. today? I cannot believe we're being corny Call the now, cops. Bro. We Yo, we calling the cops all episode because Wax is breaking the law. Who y'all calling? T. Diddy? Ain't yeah. she the new yes, cop? Yes, yes. That's, that's T. Dizzle. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, we had all kind of conversations going on in this episode. It's actually sickening to my stomach. One guy said that he had... Uh, uh-huh. Pictures from when he was 15 years old. <laughs> uh, that pictures that people sent to him when he was 15 years old. And he said that it was like his girlfriend's uh, naked pictures. No, from 15. Man. So what did you do with any what? pictures you might have had from your your younger years? Please tell me you threw them away. Yeah, no, baby, you got to still have that phone? Like, how you got pictures? Nah, he, he no, no, yeah, he had Polaroids, yeah. <laughs> He said oh, it was yeah, in a shoebox. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Come on now. He's wilding, right? He's bugging. <laughs> uh, we trying to that's find like, his that's address. Like you, you, yeah, that's basically porn at this point. Exactly. You're looking at some teenagers and you're a grown-ass man like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, and he said it to us like it was okay. Like he thought it might have been okay and we was going to agree with him. Damn, nah. And we was like, nah, bro. Like, where's yeah. the cops? Yeah, like, that's like, it. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to jail. <laughs> All right, so the topic of us even bringing up like old pictures and stuff like that is basically because we're asking if you walked in on your girlfriend masturbating to an old video of her and her ex boyfriend, what would you do? I'll probably laugh. I've been married for a long time. I'll probably laugh like, ah, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> you want him? You want him? You want him more than you want me? And you want me, dumbass? <laughs> right, because she married him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do, do you have any yeah, old videos? Me? Nah. Lying. Nah, don't keep it. Don't hold on to stuff like that. That's you know, I ain't too That's trouble. like that. Yeah. So did you yeah, wait till you real. got married to de- to delete it, or like when y'all started getting serious? Nah, I've been married for a long time. I probably can't even remember from pre-marriage. But, nah, like, nah. I mean, what's the point of holding on to it? You reminiscing for what? Right. There's too much new shit out here. Like, I hold on to that. (laughs) (laughs) How long you been married? Damn. How long you been married? I've I've been married. I've been with my wife for 18 years. Oh, wow. Oh, you married, married. Yeah, you married, married. That's your sister, your... Your wife, that's everything. 
I was your lover and your secretary. <laughs> yes, your, your lover, your secretary, your, <laughs> yeah, yeah, your, your accountant. Your Damn, one, yeah, that's everything. So I got a question. When you, no, I keep the book, though. I keep the book. So what, you funny? So when you go out, right, do you wear your ring? Uh, I don't wear a ring. Okay, see now. I like this guy. He would have been dead about 18 years ago. <laughs> Nah, I don't wear jewelry though. Yeah. I don't wear jewelry. I get it. Yeah. I've had rings. I've had two rings throughout uh-huh. the course of this marriage, and I just can't keep up with it. Yeah, that's I hear you. Ended up off. I feel you, bro. I feel like you probably. And I feel like that's kind of shallow to be to to let to let a ring, you know, be the the measure of your feelings. Uh, or the measure yeah, of I'm your with you, bro. Does she wear her yeah. ring? Yes, she have to. Go ahead. I'm no, sorry. No. Yes. Why? I'm I sorry. think because that that's kind of shallow for you to think that she should have to wear a ring. She's took it. When the... no, I, don't, I told her I don't care. I told her I don't care. She don't have to wear it. Oh she, we God, just got into an argument about this like a week ago. And she bought me a ring and was like, you're going to wear this. I know, that's right. <laughs> that's that's me. That's... <laughs> I'd be like, nigga, well, no, I'm going to tattoo that shit on your shit. Yeah, she tried that too. I said, nah, it's too much off and on the last couple years. I ain't getting no tattoo. Why you came home with a break, baby? Nah, I can't have no more kids, but I ain't getting no tattoo though. That's corny. So what, what you, so, so you you don't think you want to stay with her for the rest of your life? Probably not. No. Damn, after eighteen. I, I might years. though. I mean, I can't say I will or I won't. I mean, yeah, stuff man. is dynamic. Yeah, I hope y'all. I hope y'all hold I mean, together. Hope yeah, yeah. No, eighteen that's, years. That's old. That was old. That's great. I hope y'all do. That yeah. long and y'all get rid of each other. That's going to suck, man. 18 years is like that, like siblings. Like, yeah. yeah. That, that's your, that's like a kid got to be with a parent for Bro, 18 years. Oh, she smelled your meat and your fucking shit. She smelled your meat. Like your balls when it's sweaty. Yeah, but that could have been after one day of being together. Fuck are you talking about? <laughs> that does take 18 years. That take a jog, nigga. A light that, jog around the block. I just say, you know, you know, you know them days where you got like them bad shits. Like she had to walk in 18 years. She got that. She they say that if you love somebody, any aroma that they give off, you're gonna like the scent. I don't so know about they'll that. never see. Well, I ain't love you. nobody. Well, you, we we've already figured that out. Oops. Hey, I don't know. When you say any aroma they give off, that it still attracts you. <laughs> I don't know about that. For real? I don't know. That's what they said when I mean, you're in love with I'm, someone. My wife smells good, but I, I mean, what you talking? What we talking about? Fragrance? We talking about farts? No, what just like no, well, well, no, not farts. farts and shit. No, yes. it's, no, it's your body, like how your body smells. <laughs> so you know how sometimes you might have had a long day, and then but she might smell like the a little pheromones. The pheromones, right? Like where in her vagina smell a little. No, I don't want to say musty, but like a little. Yeah, she you has know she what got I mean? a little tank going on. It's some guys that like if you're in love with that person. All right, I can hear that. You get what I'm saying? It's like you like the smell, like you're I, attracted I, 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 to I it. Smell, I smell a little tank before, and I was like, "Damn, why I get hard?" You see what I mean? <laughs> you sound crazy. I do, but <laughs> but I don't know why. That's why I said I said I asked myself, "What the fuck, what the fuck is wrong with you, boy?" So you were smelling yourself and got hard. No, no, no. I smelled the girl like she walked past, and I smelled what? the pussy. <laughs> I was like, and I was what? like, I smell her pussy. I'm like, why did I just get oh, hard? But you see what I mean? Because you might have liked her. No, no, no. I don't like this motherfucker. I just, I just smelled the pussy. So basically, it's like this. It's like an animal instinct, is what they say. So the smell that you give off is kind of like the same thing. So it's like you attracted to the person, or you're you're attracted to that smell of. Nah, I think you're attracted to pussy. Because you know, you though. know the pussy was so. like hers. No, no, no. I could just, just I smelled pussy and it was like hard. But if it was stink pussy, then you would know the difference. It had a little taint to it anyway. But that's what I'm saying. But you, it was some kind of attraction. I don't know why. I, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. You. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You. How you smell the pussy? Like her clothes was off, her legs? No, clothes, no, no. It right was there? just like, it's just like. Smell the pussy coming off the out of the clothes, bro. Like out of the clothes, I smelled the pussy. And why? I, and I was like, what yeah, the that, fuck? That ain't no good. That pussy ain't good. I, why would you like smell pussy water. out of the clothes? It smell like water. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I don't know. I just somebody think... sat down before, right? And I, um, I was in church, and I, I was going to see. I laid down in the back, and they stood up, and I smelled. <laughs> oh my god, it was your mother. That is so nasty. Are you on drugs? Why are they sitting next to you in church? I said, Are you on drugs? And they told me you got a family church. So what's going on here? Oh, you did say your cousin and your brother was the same people. Are you on drugs? No, I have plenty of people in the church. 
It wasn't they in my family member. They said it's like a family-based church, though. All right, then, so... This girl's so which one of your family members made your dick hard? It wasn't... See, my meat wasn't even hard. I said I smelled stink pussy before. You said taint. <laughs> well, I, my meat didn't get hard this time. I'm just saying. Like, somebody sat down before and I smelled taint pussy because I, I put my face by the pillow. I even went in the bathroom after a girl and I smelled her pee. That's disgusting. Like, like, I smelled pussy and I smelled pee and pussy. Yeah. Like, I went on right after her, and I smelled like pee and pussy. I'm like, what the fuck is this smell? Pee and pussy, obviously. And, 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 and now, the feel of that, like that? Hell no. And he still fucked her. No, I didn't. Oh. No. What, she needs some water. <laughs> I'm done with yeah, her. Yeah, wash rag. <laughs> Dan, can you give Wax some advice? Because I want him to really settle down. He claims he's going to do this one-year Yo, contract. I, I, think, I, think, I think I can, man. I, hey, Wax. Honestly, man, I, I listen to you. I fuck with you, man. I think the yes. honest stuff you be saying, some of it be off the wall, but like that thirty percent be good shit. It, it be like that. Only thirty? I would say fifteen. Okay, fifteen. Let's let's be <laughs> the middle at twenty. Come on, man, <laughs> Jesus Christ! But no, I, I, I really think you you scared of commitment, Wax. I am. I said it, and I gave reasons why. I was on the other side of the fence. It was like, yo. I seen all these girls have sex with God, with me and all my boys, and they had they had men, and one really really okay, really fucked he, me up. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say the thing is, if you making your woman happy, man, it, it's no reason why she gonna look for it. That's right. That's not true, man. Okay. Listen, I don't know how well these men were smashing, but these girls were still like, listen, this guy had they had two boys and a girl, right? I said this guy had an mm-hmm. amazing. Amazing family. When we come over, she like bake cookies. What y'all want? They got food and the you kids. You do not is know good. what's going on in between you right? behind 100%. closed doors. That's what I'm saying. Hundred percent. But they made me think that this was like so dope. So, so we so we sit there and went in there. I so I went by the crib, and one of my dudes was smashing her. My guy is a good guy. Every time I show him pussy pictures, something like ah, nah, whatever. I'm waxing. I got my wife, and I'm good. I'm a good guy. <laughs> Man, my dude is smashing her out, bro. Your dude is fucking the girl. He's fucking her. And I'm thinking that this is a great relationship with them two guys. And I, I look up to their relationship because that's just like, this is what I want. Mm-hmm. And I found out she was a scumbag. Well, so, you're a scumbag too. So what does that mean? No, she not supposed to be doing that. Yeah, but you can't base your relationship off of but one this, No, no, person. no. This is not one. I see this multiple times. This happens. This happens and it hurts my feelings. And you're one of the people that ruin relationships. I used to be. No, I'm going to tell you though, like at a certain point, man, if you know, you get up in the, in the age bracket, it's not looking funny when you ain't either had a long-term relationship or you single. Then they're it's really going to know he's funny. gay. <laughs> if he would no, just come okay. out, come he on, told us numerous times, but I just want him to man. live his open life. I'm just so it's tired. A smart of man, it. It's a smart man on his phone. I feel so bad. Nobody worrying about that shit. Yeah, you gotta live. No. You gotta live what, open. What I, y'all, y'all, I heard that episode where y'all. He just like said something real quick, like that's why I'm gay. That was several episodes. Thank you, bro. Several. Don't tell him to stop. Of course no. not. Of course not. Well, I, that's the only reason why I could think that he doesn't want to be in a committed relationship. That's not, I just told you why. We no, that's I don't the only reason. To, I don't listen to that but, shit. But that if, you, if you let that hold of you back, though, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna never be able to experience. Yo, bro, of the that shit happened like over that, and over right? again. Even these girls that be in my DMs, I look on their page and they're that's kissing. My wife. My wife cheated on me. I cheated on her before. I mean, we done separated. We done got back together. We done been through all of that. But it's still a beautiful thing at the end of the day to have somebody Respect. get down with you. On yes. That's right. Respect. You can't be, you can't be by yourself. I don't want to be time. by myself. I don't no. want to be by myself. The roller coaster got two seats. It's for two people, not just for one. And the motorcycle got one. No, it got two. You got a bitch you can fly on the back. Yeah. Even the booty bikes. So yeah, stop it. The, the, later, the later that you wait, the more... The more the the pickings become slimmer because yeah. these women out here damaged, man. You end up with somebody that's already damaged and got too much baggage, yeah. or they're yeah. doing ten times yeah. better than you and don't want a fucking nigga like that. You who scorned well, you you're the, the wax is one. the damaged one. I'm not the damaged one. I don't want to get damaged. Wax is the damaged one. The, that way that he talks. Wax, wax, wax shared a karma. 
He's scared of karma. That's no, 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 no. I'm scared. To, I'm, I'm scared. To, I'm scared to go in the house, and my girl kiss me, and she does not suck on somebody else's dick. Yeah, that's karma because you've done it so many times with other people. Shit. You're gonna be just like an old, miserable, uh, I mean, lonely old man. That's too that's why. To get listen, in a that's that's why I don't. That's why I don't have silverware in in the restaurants because I used to put my meat on people's silverware, and I don't want to do that. And you're right. <laughs> I don't want a motherfucker get caught up and have this girl kiss me while somebody. And um, she kissed somebody else's head. So this you're right. This is so sad. You're going to die alone. All right, my brother. Appreciate you the call. Let, you can't let that hold back. You, you could really be, you know, missing out on having a great partner. You're right. Like, you and know, I, and I, I, feel it, I feel it all the time. He's all not all gonna going to be a time. great partner for anyone. So would, let's just I save guarantee. the young lady that life he's trying to ruin and just tell her to stay away from him now. I love you, baby. Stay away from his ass. Hey, Laurie, why don't you go ahead and make him my honest man? Uh, plus, I'd rather throw up on everyone I know. I don't know why y'all act. I don't know why y'all act like that. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not an act, my kind sir. <laughs> this is very authentic <laughs> and genuine. But thank you for okay. calling. I'll be out, my brother. All right. Peace. Yeah, y'all respect. What's up? Peace. Peace. Yeah, clearly everybody has to know by now that I think Wax is the most disgusting individual that's ever been known to man. So yeah. please don't say anything like that and again. I would definitely throw up if I see L'Oreal naked. You'll um, never see me naked, so we don't have to worry about that. God bless him. Um, you could keep sending your dick pics out in your DM. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody wants to see Wax dick, just DM him. Because they'll send it right on to you. Erica, girl, I'm still looking for no, you. Oh, shut up. Call me. Call me, girl. No. Um, But thank y'all for listening. Rate, review, subscribe. You get out of here? Nigga, we've been here for 17 hours. Okay. Is that not long enough? I want to see you. Um, I, I got my hangover glasses on. Yes. And I'm ready to go get hungover. I'm going to go eat. Oh, no, you're drinking already. No, I'm done. This is Waxwish Drinking Hennessy all episode. Yes. I just want to let y'all know. I'm drunk. Shout out to Chris. For the drinks and T. Diddy for finding them. Yeah, T. Dizzle. <laughs> Don't leave no look around us. True player for real. Yeah, at least you knew it. See, this is why <laughs> This is why they put us together. Because he knew what I was talking about. Early. All right, we out. Peace. Bye. 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 Bye.